Yeah, what's up, y'all? Welcome to WBG Xbox Podcast, episode 209. And look, man, we don't have a lot of news today, but we will make an entertaining show. We're going to have some fun. And I'm going to say, I'm, I'm actually kind of pissed, fellas. But, you know, we'll get to that later. We'll get to that later because apparently, you know, black guys can't crack jokes on each other on a white guy's podcast. It's, that means you a coon. Mm. I mean, your Uncle Tom. I'm so disappointed in you, dirt. <laughs> I'm so disappointed you're a coon, dirt. <laughs> You let somebody call you black. Well, you know the guy was black, right? Oh, no, no. Well, you know the guy was joking. No, no, you I'm so disappointed. Division, dirt, division. <laughs> You're a coon. <laughs> <laughs> You're a house nigga, dirt. You, you that guy. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right, y'all. So what's up, man? Let's go ahead and get to the show. First off, I want to say what's up to everybody in the chat. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you guys for coming through and kicking it with us. Sean. Sean look, just woke up, y'all. Look at the dedication <laughs> this man has. He just woke up. Yeah, man. Listen, uh, you know, it's, it has to be done. WBD Mondays, bro. It has to be done. Regardless, you know, this is the only late podcast I, I'll ever do right now. <laughs> now, jokes aside, guys, welcome to another Monday, guys. We've got some good stuff to talk about. And yeah, well, like Dirt was talking about, we'll definitely talk about, well, Lee will definitely talk about it later in the show, bro. But everybody hit that like button, let's get into it, playboy. Yes, yes. Joey, what's up, my man? Uh, not much, man, just looking at man, the bro, contrast. Man, bro, you loud, you Or is it me? Or is it me? No, no man, he's definitely loud. How am I? You loud as shit. Hold on, let me see if I change the <laughs> settings. How about now? Uh, yeah, you better, bro. You sounded super loud. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Right. Well, it's 91 degrees out here. It's hot as hell. And you're cold as hell, so it's weird. Well, that's nice. <laughs> that's, that's yeah, it is. I'm going to the beach next week. That's what I'm going to do. No, you know, I'm not complaining about this February in Detroit, bro. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. It was like in the 50s. <laughs> like, right, right. That's what I'm saying. Earlier, bro. The Midwest has been pretty it, good. The Midwest has been here. crazy. It is like the warmest winter I ever remember. Though. It was... it. It's supposed to be in the 60s later this uh, week, man. It's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's quite crazy. nice. <laughs> yeah, so, bro. It's crazy, it really man. <laughs> Global warming is real, man. For real. Because back in my day, it was 16 feet of snow the whole winter. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the winter of 1991, dirt. <laughs> yeah, back in the day. Uh, and, and the 30 below says 95 in Texas. Damn, in February. Oh, damn. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, so what's up with you, man? Not much. Another Monday. Ready to talk that shit? Fuck these Let's cars. go. Fuck Let's go, man. I hate them all. Hey. Um, Lord Starkiller with the five. Thank you, Lord Starkiller. Truly appreciate you, bro. Uh, Adidas 20 zero, the Chicago homie. Member for 17 months. They dut. I'm here. Thank you, Adidas 20 zero. Always appreciate you, bro. Uh, Adidas 20 zero with another 10. Uh, no, no matter the narrative, Xbox is here to stay. The lies and rumors will increase as Xbox improves. It's up to the bots to believe it or ignore it. Yeah, man. Um, you know, it's it's a crazy time right now, bro. Definitely is. John TJ with the two. What's up, guys? What's up, Darkness? What's up, John TJ? What's going on, player? How you doing, bro? Um, John TJ with another five. Xbox needs to buy Square Enix and Sega just to destroy <laughs> these points. There we go. <laughs> there, there it is. Go. That's the draw, TJ. We know. Xbox needs to buy everybody. <laughs> Justin Marks with the five. Five. Five time. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you. As always, Jay Rember with the five. No offense to King, but when Xbox do stupid stuff, they should be called out. And F King thrash. <laughs> trash. It was 70 here in Chicago today. Hey, Jay, the, the weather is crazy right now, bro. It's <clears throat> absolutely crazy right 60 now. 60 degrees right now, dirt. Yeah, mm. man. I'm telling you, I ain't never seen in February. I ain't never seen no weather like February. this, man. For real. Um, RB just showed up. What's up, brother? How you doing? What's good, man? If y'all talk about the weather, I'm sick of this shit too. <laughs> You're not in Georgia, right? I'm in Georgia. One week it's cold, one week it's hot. I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the same way here. <laughs> All right, man. Well, let's go ahead and get into the first topic. Now, the first topic, Joey just sent it in the DM, but I already had it queued up to talk about. 
before Joey sent it in the DM. Um, because let's be honest, we're kind of um getting tired of the Xbox, you know, four third party game stuff. We, we will mention a couple of things, but eh, eh, yeah, I, I, you know, kind of tired of that shit. Game trailers with the fives. What up, dirt? You hear that pandemic runs 120 FPS and pony bots are freaking out. Most of them never played the game. Hey, listen, we'll talk about that, but I ain't go front though, bro. How that come on, man. It should be now. They said they're going to drop a, a, a update to put the Xbox Series X version at 120. But why the PS4 version 121st, though? Come on, I, I don't like that game trailer. Mm. That was kind of trash. I think, I think that's kind of a mistake still, though. I don't it might be a mistake. Yeah, apparently, not- it was there before, then they patched it, it got rid of the high frame rate for some reason. Now they're repatching it again. So okay, that's what it went. Cool. Well, it'll be there, but yeah, but, hey, but keep because nobody bought that or played that game. We didn't. Yeah, even they know, they so. went in no rush. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ain't nobody buying on no PlayStation either. They say six people was playing that bitch. Hey, oh, Amit Kumar, he said, "Why the hell do you need Pentiment at 120?" That's a damn good question. I played it. This is having Pentiment. more having more frame rates doesn't mean ponies will read faster. Thou shall whoop your ass. Thou shall beat your eyes. That's, that's why ponies ain't buying that game. They can't read. <laughs> they can't read. That's what it is. <laughs> Bro, Pentiment. I never get we saw that shit at the game showcase in 2022. <laughs> Joey just stopped stop talking. <laughs> oh, fuck. Joey just stopped talking. Man, Sean was like, is this not Pentiment shit? What? <laughs> oh, God, what like this this shit? <laughs> For the people that shit, said it was a good game. Cool. Shout I, out to you. I couldn't get into it, bro. It it's, started off way too slow. It's okay. It is really slow, though. <laughs> and yo, Jay Gross said, Pit to me that 120 frames really makes the text pop. <laughs> That's the only thing. What is, what is, what is, what is Pit to me that 120 frames gonna do, bro? I, I don't know, man. Well, anyway, uh, let me change this timestamp because we got to talk about they need to do like voiceover for that game, like like patch it. Yeah, with man, that. Get, uh, like, yeah, man, get young yay. Oh god! Thou must, over yonder, thou must, <laughs> thou must find the scroll, the magical scroll to solve thy mystery. He <laughs> young. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, um, man. <laughs> so first thing I want to talk about. Let me share my screen. This news dropped uh, right before the show. Um, actually, uh, an hour before the show. Derek Strickland. Now, I want to talk about this first for one reason, because, you know, the ponies are going to come go after him and he's probably going to delete this post. So I said, let me talk about this first and get it out of the way before ponies attack him and he delete it. Just like any other journalist that has some negative PlayStation news, the ponies attack them and they delete it out of pressure. So he says, why is PlayStation's operating profit so low? Here's a closer look at profit trends for Sony's games division. A quick glance reveals some culprits. Increasing game development costs. Yeah, we we knew that. Historically unfavorable exchange rates. Damn, didn't know that one. Acquisition costs. Just say Bungie. Just go ahead and say Bungie. Yeah, Bungie. (laughs) Just go ahead. It's not Firewalk, that's for sure. (laughs) Definitely. Lower PS5 profitability. I thought they said, like, like the ponies told us, yeah. It's profitable. It's 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 gonna be it's super profitable and, and then, like they make they make twenty bucks per console. Stop. Damn. Yeah. Um. So, um, issues guys see quarter one 2022, They was at nine percent profit. Quarter two went down to six. Quarter three of twenty twenty two, they went up to nine percent profit. Quarter four twenty twenty two went down to four percent. Damn, bro, that's damn near no profit. <laughs> like damn. Uh, quarter one, 2023, 6%, quarter two, 5%, and quarter three of 2023, 6%. Now, we also read that, um, they predicted 13%. No, actually, was it 20? No, 20%. Um, but it was at 6% or something like that. So that's significantly lower than that, than what they wanted. And the reason I'm talking about this is pretty simple. Um, listen, guys, I know Xbox is putting some of their games on playstation and, and you ponies are having to feel that i'm not you know listen man go ahead talk that shit you guys should talk that shit but um <clears throat> worry about what playstation is doing you guys are so focused on what xbox is doing 
and everybody is paying attention to it except for you guys. You guys noticed everything Xbox did, making videos, saving bookmarks, doing videos, calling out Xbox guys. But y'all are ignoring everything that's going on with PlayStation. Their profit continues to go down. Goes down, it goes up slightly. It goes down, goes. That's not sustainable. What's going to happen? 2024. They have no big first party games for the rest of the year, all the way to up to April 2025. When Xbox had that same issue, we called them out. Hell, even Phil Spencer himself said it's unacceptable. We had no first party games. Technically, they have, I, I guess, Hell Divers. I guess that's the first party game, right? Because they go back and forth with it. Is it first party? Now that it's successful, it's first party. Before it wasn't, I don't know what the hell it is. They, 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 they own the IP. They, they funded the project. I'll, I'll give yeah. them that. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, if that's fine. That's It's a successful first party game. But people are saying Concord is coming out this year. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. But my thing is, we just saw the numbers. We saw the charts. There, I guarantee they say Derek Strickland is a liar, and he's going to delete it because they're going to call him out. There's a pony in here. I think it's been taken out. Get out. A new one. Fuck out. Get out, punk. So, fellas, let me ask you guys. What, what happens now? What happens now with PlayStation? We always speculating about Xbox, what they're going to do. Will they put more games on PlayStation and Nintendo in the future? What is going to happen with Xbox? What are they going to do? What about PlayStation? What are they going to do? When you see these numbers, when you see how they don't have any huge first party AAA games for uh, pretty much a whole year, what are they going to do? Well, let me start off with Joey, Sean. Sean, you still asleep. <laughs> With me. Oh wow, that's that's a change Joy, of pace. So, <laughs> what are they going to do, bro? Is is it is it a valid answer to say I don't give a fuck what they do? <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, that's that's a valid answer, but <laughs> no, but, but I don't know what they're gonna do. I mean, uh, they're gonna ride and die with all the third party exclusive they got already. Like, there are Final Fantasy is gonna come out in a few days, I think. I don't even know. Uh, they got uh, Stutter Cheeks that looks promising, at least from the backside looks promising uh uh hell divers is pretty much doing well so I'll, I'll give him that and xbox is sharing some of their games so apparently they're gonna be just fine i don't think they're gonna be as profitable or at least having their margins going up this quarter or this year i think it's gonna be quite dry but uh i don't know it's not even half a year i can't speculate what's going to happen in the end of the year because they can have some surprise third party exclusive that we don't know about. And you know, you know how Sony is, they'll grab something that is big, make it an exclusive and make people from Xbox mad. That's that happens almost every year. So, mm. uh, Frank, quite honestly, I really don't care what Sony does. I hope they fail in everything they do right now. I really want mm. them to get smacked in the face. That's my real wish. My mm. real wish is to, for them to get smacked in the face for once. The last time they got smacked like that was in the PS3 era, and that was almost 15 years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. It's been long enough for them to have a uh, you know a reality check, and hopefully this is the year they get one, like a real one. Now that Xbox have the marketing uh, from from COD, and I hope Microsoft actually does something with marketing and 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 mm -hmm. bundling and screaming that we got COD on Game Pass. So let's see what happens, man. But so far, I really want Sony to. I don't care what they do, but hopefully nothing well or nothing good happens this year for them. Yeah. Um, let me get these super chats before I go to Sean. Sir X Man with the two Xbox setting up the Sony trap. No one sees it coming. Mm, the Matrix Revolution, Joey. <laughs> Blue Storm with the fire. Hey, Dirt, love your channel and also love your performance and lethal weapon that's bracking. I hope you provide. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Is that Danny Glover? <laughs> Is that Danny Glover, bro? Yeah, yeah. As bracket, no, 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 Who's no, bracket? no. Like you said, lethal company. I don't know what that is. Oh, lethal. Uh, was, uh, oh, lethal company oh, is that funny one. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know what that is. <laughs> Blue Storm. I thought I it was lethal is, uh, for some reason. I was thinking lethal. lethal weapon. I'm sorry. I just but it's lethal Go company. Look it up or not. Let me see. What God, it is. Empress Sofa King, uh, with the five. Have y'all ever noticed every time they start going really hard on Xbox, something twice as bad happens to PlayStation and never fails? Yeah, mm -hmm, but the, but the thing is, nobody talks about it. You know what I'm saying? Nobody talks about it's it. It's a blanket, dirt. They try to cover it up. 
Yep, 100%. Draw on TJ to fire Apple and Tencent oh, and both licking their limbs one to buy Sony. That's a game. Why you call dirt bracket, man? Man, let's I move. Can't, I can't, I can't, even, I can't even see what it is. It's that dark. <laughs> Come on, let's move. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> JD Gamer with the five. Remember when ponies were counting the months until Xbox next AAA banger? I don't see them doing that for PlayStation. Pathetic port begging ponies got no games. Talk that mm, shit, JD you gotta Gamer. With, uh, you gotta hit it with you gotta hit it hard play with that shit. Oh, you. like JD Gamer tweets because he's yeah. uh, like it's all in caps, so I gotta hit harder. Okay, I'll do that <laughs> so next shit, time. That's what he means like at the end. I'll do that next time. <laughs> Texas with the five with the What's up, homie? Hey, thanks for backing me up on that shit yesterday, bro. Appreciate you. you, bro. I know folks crap on Pentiment, but it is a great game. I turn on Microsoft Voice Assistant, Assist, which is in accessibility, and had a blast playing through it. Yeah, I mean, listen, man. I, I, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if I'm ever gonna try it again. But a lot of people saying it's a good game. Mandingo with the five. That's effed up, dirt. I'm trying so very hard to, with my smut, smut abilitation. It doesn't help when Joy talking about cheeks. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh man! <clears throat> well, you know, Joey said what he had to say. Joey can give a damn about what PlayStation is doing. The reason I'm talking about this is just look, man. Xbox are, is doing something a lot of us don't like. Have the uh, like uh, community divided. I saw somebody earlier say, I think it was Way Johnson said the podcast scene is divided. Um. And you know, let's let's be honest, man. But not everything is pieces and cream on uh PlayStation side. Yes, of course I'm deflecting. Yes, that's what I'm doing, 100 percent But it is what it is, right? Uh so Sean, what you think about what's what PlayStation is doing, bro? And why nobody's talking about it? Well, we know PlayStation is dog shit player. <laughs> Let me start off with that. Now listen, when we like shout out to Derek Strickland, I know he's a POS and that sometimes, but listen, when it comes out with this information and you look at PlayStation, you, that's this is why the new COO, CFO, Hiroki Tutoki is talking about this. We got a problem. Let's see where that problem is. He did some investigating, looked into the in, uh, internal studio and said, Listen here, player, every single one of you guys, I don't give a shit if you think you're the to uh, top dog. Looking at these numbers, the money you're spending, the budgets, it's out of control. So what do we need to do a first play? Looking at the money that's coming in, one 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 quarter be up, next quarter be down, up, down, up, down. This is not good. We're spending too much money. Let's get let's make it let's get that to a place where it's balanced. Really nice. So this is what's gonna happen. The internal studios from PlayStation, you're gonna see you see shit tighten up. Otherwise, what you just mentioned earlier there, it's not gonna be sustainable. Straight up, if they buy these studios like Bungie spending three plus billion dollars, that's not paid off for them. PlayStation profits, even though they're selling more consoles than ever, the profits are still dog shit at the moment. They're selling so many games or bringing so many first party games from last year. They're still not making enough money. Games are costing $300 million. So what do you have to do first? Look inside your own motherfucking house. Mm -hmm. Deal with that shit first, then look outside. And that's what's going to happen, bro. They're going to tighten up each and every studio. That's why Last of Us Faction got cancelled. Do you know what? F that shit. Cancel that bullshit. This is going to cost too much money and nobody's going to play this dog shit game. So let it go. <laughs> that's what they're doing, bro. So you can yeah. see, listen, end of the day, the media will never talk about this shit. They'll always talk about Xbox is going to be do doing this, Xbox is going to be doing that. And do you know what? Like the homie Joey talked about on Twitter, they want Xbox to be gone. And when, whatever Xbox does, it's perfect. This this is the way it should be. But as soon as PlayStation does some shit, no, 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 we don't like this bullshit. PlayStation should keep it the, like the old ways. That's the problem we have here. And listen, you look at the profits, plain and simple. Up and down, up and down, it's not going to be sustainable. Because when the next game comes out, for example, um, a big major first party comes out next year in 2025, what game is that? Will that be a Ghost of Tsushima? The new, was it uh, Sony Santa Monica game? I'm sure that game is going to cost up to about 200 plus million dollars. And this is where we're having a problem, bro. They've got to tighten up and make it easier. Make it a better work. Um, the money flow needs to be much better. More responsible as well. So in time, we're going to find out what's going to happen. And I reckon as time goes on, I know that you talked about it so many times. We talked about it on TTS as well. The industry is changing right now. Yeah. Straight up. The $70 games, it's not enough anymore. 
I'm not, not. I won't be surprised if they put prices up next year, a mid-gen price, starting with GT. I think that I think that game's gonna force it, and the rest will follow. That's the, that's what we have. Think in GTA Press. gonna be eighty? Yes, hundred percent. Hundred percent, no doubt. I think it'll be eighty, and nobody will give a damn. They will nobody buy. Will give a shit. <laughs> yeah. They're not gonna say nothing. To that. They will not say anything about that game. Trust me, that game will be a ninety-seven, the ninety-seven meta rated game. It's gonna uh, fly. It's it gonna kill. It's gonna kill it, bro. It's gonna it, kill it. It might cost more than eighty, honestly. Wait, what game? The base, the base GTA game. Six. The base oh, game. I'm gonna bet one hundred. The base game. I don't think they're yeah. gonna jump that yeah. that much. I don't no, think the base no. game. No. They know everybody's gonna bend the knee, and how the, the rumors they, they spend. They, they spend a billion they, they dollars could. in that game. <laughs> they could do yeah, that. I can see. 80, and they're though. not. And they're not launching on PC, so they want yeah. their money back. I can definitely see eighty. Okay, I don't think 100, eighty yeah. to eighty-five, but I would not be surprised to see some. Are we talking about the standard edition? Eighty dollars. Yeah, so I'm talking the about the standard edition, edition, bro. That's crazy, bro. But looking at, let me just finish. With, uh, let me finish with Nikhil like Devon or me and looking at these numbers, we have talked about this for a minute. I'm sure Phil and these team have seen it. Nintendo have seen it as well. If the if the games are costing more, the price has gone slowly up. That's it. They are seventy dollars for a minute right now. Well, sixty for a minute, fifty for a minute. It's up to seventy dollars. What do we have to do? Tighten up the ship, and that's what's gonna happen as time goes on. They're gonna tighten up. The uh, different last studios will uh, either cut or make smaller games, and that's how you save money internally, bro. So your profit levels be either increase. Or your workflow when you look at a chart like that, four percent down, four percent up, four percent down. Mm-hmm. It's not going. The people not going to be happy. The shareholders won't be happy. So what they have to do, cut somewhere and kind of get that fine line, that fine balance. And I reckon that's what a lot of the people, a lot of these uh, gaming industry studios publishers will do in the future. Like, look, bro, I'm sure WB, bro, they fucked Suicide Squad. Regardless of how goes Legacy, they're yeah. still in trouble. Yeah. So. The gaming industry is crazy at the uh, crazy at the moment, to be honest. And uh, talking about PlayStation, I'm sure they'll do some cuts somewhere, and uh, hey, it could be the same for uh, Xbox as well. You just don't know. Yeah, absolutely, man. I mean, that's something. Like I always say, Sean. Like you mentioned, I, the game industry is changing. It's different. It, it's not the same. People, you know, we like to go back and compare the old generations to the current generation. We do it for fun, but if we try to do it number wise, we just can't, bro. It, it, it's it's apples and oranges. You can't compare what the PS2 did to what ha- what's happening nowadays. It's, it's just hard to do that because you know back in 2000 when the PS2 came out, everybody didn't have cell phones like they do now. A few people had it, and it damn sure wasn't smartphones. Let me tell you that. So it's just a different time, man. And, and where is 2024? I saw a person on the freeway in a Tesla for the first time. And that bitch was driving himself. And and I was like, wow, look, look, look. I was in the car by myself, but I was like, look, look, look. (laughs) That's the time we're living in, bro. That's that's the first time I've seen one on on the freeway with with, with the person not with their hands on the wheel, on the steering wheel. And I was like, damn. So it's 2024, like I say all the time, man. It's it's our present, but it's really in the future. Like Joy, like ten years ago, you said, "Yo, man, ain't gonna be cars driving itself." Uh, you know, you can play your Xbox games on your phone. You can do this. You can do that. Digital is going to be the dominant way to play your video games. You would say, "Nah." Yeah, I would have said like, "This is, we ain't going to the dem- demolition man future." Crazy. <laughs> right, bro, bro. Yeah, <laughs> and we're exactly did close to demolition mean, man exactly, right now. Bro. Oh, you say what? No, did you see that? That's what like, I know. I'm sure Joy used to send the same shit as me when they talk about dem- uh, Demolition Man. Like, s- some of the things they did in that uh, movie. Yeah. It's kind but of... The VR? The VR thing? The VR, yeah. That's, that's happening. You know. uh, cars driving by itself, that happened. The two viruses that almost killed the planet, that happened. Everybody being polite, not trying to offend anybody, that's mm-hmm. happening. The only thing left is Taco Bell taking over. That's all. <laughs> right. Taco, I mean, Taco people Bell are, taking over. People are eating rat burgers. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> oh, my God. But uh, yeah, but like that's the, listen, and I think that movie took place in 2032 or something like that. But like you said, it's man, close enough. <laughs> it, it, I'm telling you, bro, we we need to realize it. And somebody my age, I think I'm the perfect age to witness technology just evolve, right? I know you guys are close to my age. Ain't you close to my age? Well, ten years, but still, to see technology just evolve, especially gaming, man. 
mm. from Super Mario World on the SNES being developed by eight people to Spider Man Two costing three hundred million dollars to develop. This, bro, this is Come a prime example that like the first GTA. Look at the GTA game now. Bro, the yeah, first look, look GTA the up the uh top down yeah, view, yeah, bird, bird's eye view, yeah, bro. Look, look I'm at, telling look at you, man, bro. Uh, it's yeah, a, and this is the, some GTA five. It's only five. It's only five games, bro. Right, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know that's that's the something that we need to realize, man. So, what Xbox is doing, the what PlayStation is doing, the the. The situation they're in is something that the ponies really need to pay attention to. <laughs> Excuse me. They really need to take to pay attention to. And Sophie King Low, you said from VHS to digital, 100 percent bro. We just saw how Best Buy officially removed all digital content. I went in the Best Buy the other day. They don't have no damn digital content. I mean physical. My bad. Physical content. They don't have any. I was there. I was looking specifically. Yep. Yep. They got a couple of physical games left, but they got way more digital cards. Ain't no PlayStation. All they have is the blue cards, but it's, it's just the truth, man. You know, like, uh, <laughs> before we, like, get the rest of the boys in the Super Chat, everybody loves to go back to that the 360 and the PS3 days. Different mm-hmm. times, bro. We were getting tril- trilogies back then. And, yeah, uh, more in, last, in, in one more, generation. Yeah, in one gen. And more, uh, that's what, like... That's what a lot of people fell in love with them type of game. If it's a Gears game, the Uncharted games, uh, Mass Effect games. That's what a lot of people fell in love with. The, love into, uh, love, like Fight Night games, UFC mm. games, you name it. A lot of people fell in love with them characters and games because it was a full, complete like kind of story what happened. Yeah. For the, the whole story arc. We had the whole yeah, story. Yeah, you made a good like, point, bro. Gears had... Well, four games really. You want to yeah, include four, Judgment? The main, had the main four games. Mass Effect had three games. Three. Uncharted Halo had three games. Halo had three. Had Halo. Halo three. had three ODST games. and Reach. All in one generation, bro. <laughs> Halo that's Wars crazy. was there too. Look at you got. Look at you got two nowadays, bro. <laughs> hey, that's crazy. Now that you say that, Sean. Damn. Hey, think about this. Naughty Dog. They dropped their game in 2020. It's four years to the gen. They dropped two remasters with an, Oh, yeah, that's with, right. Halo 4. So they had four games in the four, Right. Damn. Damn. <laughs> those days are gone, man. Having the whole trilogy, even the fourth game in one generation. Those days are gone, bro. Three bio shots. You know, get one. And uh-huh. I'm surprised these sports franchises still, well, that's why the games don't change that much. The gameplay, they usually little yeah. tweaks here and there because same shit, bro. Same. And that, you know, that's really. why a lot of people when we say all oh, the 360 gen was um, incredible, people say, Oh, you lot, you lot are bots, that's why they were winning that gen. Nah. If regardless if they were winning the gen or not, it's just the games that came out of time and the output from the studios, mm-hmm. it was dope. From every everybody, it was dope back then. They weren't taking ten years to make a game. You might get an odd few, but overall, they were dropping games like every two years, bro. Sean. Would you say it's because the gaming uh, economy, whatever you want to call it, has stagnated where mm-hmm. people don't want to take as many risks or try anything oh, new? 100%. Oh, yeah. When you have uh, bosses, Joey, and publishers and license fees, <laughs> it costs a lot of money. And you do one failure nowadays, bro. You're your done. Studio, your studio's closing <laughs> down and you, you jump in ship. Let's be honest. Uh, yeah. What's that studio made Cluster Protocol? There? That's like one Striking the Design. Yeah. Yeah, striking, that dude jumped, jumped, striking ship. something. He jumped, yeah. yeah. So striking distance. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's yeah. difficult because yeah, I felt like uh, it was at a time where the the modern graphic jump made a big leap from the Xbox OG and the P- PS2. The 360 was that type of console that when graphics were loud, yo, that's a leap and a half. So when you seen like realistic game uh, graphics and open world 3Ds, like even better than it was previously on the OG Xbox, that's what it was, bro. It looked mm-hmm. good. The characters act. The characters actually look good as well. They look real, so it costs a lot of money, and uh, it's gonna be a difficult one because I feel like a lot of the games back then, majority they were ten to 12, 12 hour games, fifteen max. Now, mm-hmm. I, I, yeah, I think that's right I just minimum, finished minimum twenty nowadays. I just finished a few days ago. Gears of War three again. Mm-hmm. And Gears of War three, as much as a great game, I'm like, whoa, this game ain't that long, and but it's it's, it's long enough though. Right. Nowadays, like the perfect length, got, right. look at the, look at Assassin's Creed. How long these fuckers are, man! And yeah, I'm, and and I'm like, I think games don't need to be that long. I understand people want open or world games and things like that, but we can't have every single game to be an open world. Yeah, you we don't. Can't. But you know what the problem is? 
um, Joey, it's it's what happens when all these companies look at trends and they say what sells and they're trying to save money and they say, all right, that's just put everything into one game instead of multiple genres. For instance, like Assassin's Creed. Every Assassin's Creed game doesn't need a big ass open world where there's barely anything in it. You might wait, wait, find some like collectibles or something, or it might be an enemy. Well, I think Origins mm-hmm. had it the best where you go onto the corners of the maps, there's like Egyptian deities to fight. Okay, cool. But not every game does that. My thing is every game now has to be the faux stealth, faux RPG, faux big open world. They have to put everything in one game because I feel like, all right, we're going to try to appeal to everybody and you're appealing to less people because not everybody mm-hmm. wants to play that. Yeah. Like so for some reason, copy, like games as a service for yeah. every game. Pretty that, much. That's one part. And the other part is, I don't know if it's us, the consumers, but we're expect well, from PS4 and Xbox One generation, every game new, every new game that comes out, we are expecting it to be bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, yeah. And and, and I think it's us being spoiled too. Like, yeah, like. But yeah, I think, of course, we want we want bigger and better. But there's a point, like, dude, they can't no more. Like, they, they can't, bro. The buds just won't allow it. Like, um, the gentleman who helped make Deus Ex, and shout out to them because they're. The, ne- the next X game, X game they were making got canceled because of the whole Embracer nonsense. Yep. So that's a real bummer for me. But the guy who made that, he made Deus Ex, Thief, and another game of the same genre back in the day before they became Ion and then went to um, the company, that, Crystal Dynamics. He said he doesn't think the way forward is bigger open worlds. He said the, the dream game for him is one block of a city and every single door you can open up and there's a little story or something going on. Mm. Not a big That'd be interesting. Huh, say what? That would be interesting. Yeah. Uh, put it this way. The first GTA, it That's wasn't a big city. Cane, though, bro. Exactly. Stay the, these, these, like, if, if, if we remember the original the original open world games, like Mafia. Let's take, Mafia didn't have a big game, a map, big map. Yeah, but yeah. if you put every building or something where things are actually happening interactive and interesting in that two or three block of a city... You don't need a massive map like GTA unless you have a billion dollars to burn and and you know you're gonna sell that bag and get 100 percent of that return. I don't know, but uh, companies itself have to rethink how they do these games. I, they really have to think in their economy because the guys from Callisto Protocol, how much that game cost? 100 something million dollars. 52. Yeah. I don't know if they even broke that. They I don't even know if they broke even. I don't no. know how much money they got, but enjoy. It's like they're they. It's sad. Here's the thing, bro. These uh, these gaming companies aren't here to break even. These they're here to make profit. They're yeah. here to make money, bro. They don't want to be bra- making ten million uh, pounds. Breaking max. even is a failure, son. It's a failure, bro. They want to be making much like not PlayStation. It's a failure when they made six hundred million dollars dollars out of ten billion dollars. Bro, that's crazy, bro. crazy, bro. That's, that's crazy. crazy. Ten billion dollar rev. Uh, Ten billion dollars in revenue, but only making six hundred million profit. That's bananas, bro. Like you said, yeah, like P-O-S. I said last night, Hiroki to Koki to Toki to Toki. He looked at the numbers like hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. Wait a minute, tighten up, player. <laughs> y'all got to tighten up. Hey, Bungie, what are y'all doing? Y'all ain't doing shit but losing money. Tighten up. I'm telling you, bro. This, this shit is for real, man. But. Back to, you know, like the original point Sean's making, gaming is changing. Like I said all the time, it's changing. And we, you know, like we do the console wars. We fight with the console wars. Yeah, F you ponies, kiss my ass ponies. But, bro, the, this like gaming is changing. Now, we just saw today, super massive games had 90 people later. That's right. That's happening. <clears throat> bro, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Um, all right, let me get these super chats. John TJ of the Fire, Sony CEO right now saying, damn, our financial re- records are as bad as the WNBA. Oh, shit. Come Facts, on. bro. Come on, TJ. Uh, yeah. He throwing shots at the WNBA. Oh, <laughs> they ain't do nothing, nobody. <laughs> right, yeah. Come on, Robert Jr. of the Fire. Oh, Let's see how ponies and pony bots act on May and June. Mo games. games. I really oh, think yeah. Xbox uh, game showcase is going to be amazing this year. I really do, bro. But, of course, you know the the reactions will be, when those games come to PS5? Ooh, Perfect Dark looks good. When it's coming to PS5? Gears is coming to PS5. You already know that shit gonna happen, but, you know. Hey, you know, listen, they, they, they're gonna move, they're gonna move the goalposts, and we'll move the goalposts, uh, goalposts, and we'll play. We will, we'll, we will be playing it first on Xbox, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, uh, with that, and how is everything shifting now, because, well, I think we talked about it before. 
we're always waiting for journalists and everybody to do their job and say, well, what about PlayStation? What about they never Final do. Fantasy? What about Spider-Man? They never do. So to expect, like, like I, that's what I said. After, even before this whole upheaval with the game leaking and all that before that, if you want to say there's professionalism and gaming journalism, that's your opinion. I I don't believe that because of everything they've mm. uh, acted over the, over you know decades, whatever. But besides that, when it comes to the gaming industry, how we want to put it, it seems that like Microsoft always makes the first move, and PlayStation falls along. No matter how they want to cry or deny it or say that's not you, PlayStation is so big and bad they have to do their own thing. PlayStation games are on PC now. Mm-hmm. Now their multiplayer mm-hmm. games are on PC day and date. Right. I. They want to complain and say, well, they're not really third party because it'll be forced them. I don't want to hear all that bullshit. A first party studio makes a game that launches on Xbox day and date right now. You can say it's LMB, don't count. I don't care. The same way MLB twisted their arm, I can't imagine Disney isn't in that same position where we need to make more money with this game. Because the only time they did the partnership with Fortnite was making just making some like Marvel World. And mm-hmm. then the head of right. Disney always saying, already saying, we need to make more money. I and I quoted him when he said that. I said, "Hey, why don't you look at these uh, Spider-Man games you got, uh, home, homeboy? You think they should be in some other places? If you're talking about making money, because let's be honest, this is all about making money. Microsoft knew that first. Granted, we all thought they could afford to wait, but they just want to do it now. If anybody can't afford to wait, it's PlayStation. But even this is business culture or whatever. They're just that stubborn where they're just trying to hold on to as as, as long as possible for actually doing it. But we already see it. Mm-hmm. There are multiplayer games now, day and day, and PC." Yeah. Um, um. What's the What's the game? Con- Contour or something like that. Concord. Concord. Like Turk and Hamburg. <laughs> yeah. Is uh, yeah. <laughs> the hamburger shaking. <laughs> is I'm stop me wrong, but isn't that going to Xbox as well? Or no? No. 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 It's not. Not at first. <laughs> but marathon no. is. Marathon is. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Like game. different dividing lines. I think are all going to go away for some games. Multiplayer games. I could see. I can see them saying, you know what, Hell Divers, we need to make much as much money as possible. That should be on PC. That should be on Xbox. Now, yeah. if you want to still fight about the single player games, right? Well, fine. But anything PlayStation already on Xbox is already a, a black eye for them. So any more would be cool. But this is just a this is just where we are now in the gaming world, where we're, everybody's trying to make money. So yeah, that's what it is, bro. They're trying to find and, other ways to make money, aren't they? Yeah. And I think I said it before, honestly, with the whole thing with the Xbox putting their games on PlayStation. The only person that really loses is the Xbox hardcore fanboy because you have less to brag about. We're mm-hmm. the only ones that lose something. Xbox it's all about the console war shit, to be honest. Yeah. With you. Xbox Honestly, is going to make money yeah. and PlayStation is going to keep making money and they're going to keep capitulating to things they don't want to do. So, Absolutely. however you want to put it. Absolutely. Uh, Demo Flow Game. What is up, my homie? With what the up, five man? Xbox communities not divided. Pony bots like Peter OVO can't come back. They are not part of the set. They better start clapping them cheeks for Team Blue. <laughs> yeah, Peter OVO done, bro. He, he's he's uh he's done. <laughs> he's done for the streets. He's done. He's for the streets. So X Man with the two Halo episode four just blew out the last Fox. of us. Poor Sony. Hey, Fox. did you see it, man? I watched it all yesterday, bro. One shot. Hey, that episode four was fire, man. You know, um, that, like the like the first four episodes is dope, bro. It's on a good. Uh, it's it's got a lot of potential this season. Like the way it's gonna yeah. pay off, you can see it, and it's, it's yeah. To a point I'm where enjoying it, bro. I, I'm not sure how many episodes is gonna be eight or nine episodes, but it's gonna pay off, bro. Like, it looks like it, I'm saying. So, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I'm good enjoying start. it. Good season yep. two. Yep. So <laughs> and Joey likes it. You know, Joey didn't didn't like the first season, but he's liking this about, one. Bro, TV shows, bro. Listen, I, I've I've seen so many TV shows. Like at one point when I was like twenty twenty one, I was watching like forty TV shows a week, bro. Damn, that's how much shit I was watching back then, bro. Because I was on late, so I was coming right, back at right. midnight, watching until like six in the morning, bro. I was like, bro, I've watched so many shows, bro. And, and a lot of shows, the first season be dog shit sometimes. Yeah, it's yeah, average. It does. But the second third, boom, it takes off. Good, yeah. It takes off. Blue Storm with the five. GTA 6 will be $80 in field with microtransactions. Also, can't forget about Sean and your role as the forest keeper. Oh, shit. I don't know what that oh, is. Shit. Uh, what does it mean by that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Spartan 661 with the two. How do you use the three seashells? How do you use the three Ain't that a movie? Seashells? Wasn't that a scene in the movie, yeah. the seashells? I could have sworn that's a scene in the movie. Spartan 661. Is that a scene in the movie, bro? I could have sworn. Demolition, heard... Demolition Man. Demolition Demol- Man. Duh. We was just talking about it. <laughs> he takes a piss or something. Yeah, or right. Something. We was just yeah. talking about that. Duh. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Justin Boudreau had the five. Got some time with Dead Island 2 over the weekend. It's a perfect title for Game Pass, bro. I thought it was 
really a great game, man. I'm glad people are getting to experience it now because I think it's so decently like two or three million, but I'm glad people are getting so. to experience it now because I know people was hesitant because that game has so many development issues. It was in development oh, for like ten, what, years? 10 years. <laughs> yeah. They had so many different developers and but I'm telling you, bro, I like Dead Out of Two better than Don Light Two. And I like Don Light Two. But do you Dead think Two, it's fire, do you think they put it in Game Pass? They were planning or they were already planning on putting it in Game Pass, or they was like, let's speed this up because we need some good uh, PR right now. I think Game Pass deals are done like way months, before six, time. Six, seven, yeah. eight months yeah. Yeah. at once. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't think it was like a spur of the moment thing. Yeah. So but the matter pushed it, you don't know. Yeah, they might have. Yeah. Time maker man of the five, tired of open world. Breath of the Wild was empty and boring. Didn't try the sequel. Yeah, man. I look, I'm like this. I don't know if I have it in me to play another game the scale of Assassin's Creed um Valhalla. That game was just too massive. You fucked sure. up on that though. I did. Fault, I did. But, I look, but I still did, but I still love it. Like, until I told you, you would have still played still play, <laughs> I was like, still kind of freaking play. out. I <laughs> was so so he was like, I'm hundred hours in. I go, what do you mean you hundred hours in? And I go, what about the story? Because I don't know. I go go to the house, go to the hut. I never went story. to the house to get yeah. the missions. Yeah. Yeah. So dirt. by the time I did do it, I was so powerful, I just blew through the rest of the game. Bro. Yeah. Hey dirt, I just um I bought uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 again because last time I had a game shared with someone I don't share my console with anymore so I I played like I got like a good like 80% of done didn't have it anymore a few years went by and it's not on sale for like 30 bucks so I bought it again that's an open world game where I guess you can see why it takes so long but that game is too damn long yeah yeah it is by the time long. I got done with like the main part before it did like the prologue uh, the epilogue like Jesus Louise I didn't feel like playing no more tell the truth yeah I got all the way done with Arthur Morgan's thing now it's John Marston again. Like, I mean, I won't play this shit. No yeah, you. Yeah, like hey, but John Marston shit there. at the end. That it's shit is about it. a good three, four hours, bro. Yeah. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm just being real, but but they but they literally go to the beginning of Red Dead Redemption one. Yeah. So they really take you to the beginning. They want to do something with that. That's that's the only reason why they did that for. Yeah. So. JD Gamer with the 10. Remember when everyone used to make fun of Netflix for not having any content? Fox then YouTube. then it, it was second rate content. No one is saying that now. Times change, Blockbuster die, PlayStation will adapt or die. Talk that shit, JD Gamer. And you're <laughs> absolutely JD. right. Cause I remember this guy told me hey, dirt, you should try Netflix. I said the streaming shit. He's like, Yeah, I said, okay, I tried it. Wasn't shit on there. I watched some low rate movies, but I was like, okay, whatever. Yo, listen, man. JD but Gamer. it got better and better <laughs> over time. 100% back in 2015, 2016, I said Netflix is dog shit. Look at it was filled of Steven Seagal movies. I swear to God. I hate Steven Seagal, bro. I hate Steven Seagal. Yeah, enjoy your friends as well and all them type of shows. Bro. But this shit, Friday night, I just watched the movie this weekend. It was crazy, man. With Netflix uh, is Kelly untouchable. Netflix is yeah. the best, uh, best streaming service, straight up. Yeah, bro. No right. And I can't wait to WWE Raw gonna be live every Monday night. That's oh boy, that's that's a good. That's gonna be deal, crazy, man. bro. That shit start January. Yeah. That's gonna be fine. JD Gamer with the ten. Stop giving ponies a pass. They get no pass from me. Mm. MLB can't can't make PlayStation do ish. They did it because they like money, and now they make more money from that property having released it on a smaller platform. Did you hear how they said way more people play on Xbox than PlayStation? Six to one or something. Six yeah. times, six times more That's on Xbox. Crazy. That oh I know it's a God. Game Pass, but that much more? Damn, bro. It don't matter. But the first time they released it in Game Pass, it made more money than the series has ever had. It did. It I did. bought it. I think more people bought it for Xbox. I, I, I the first one yeah. I bought it because I wasn't expecting that shit to be on Game Pass like that long. Yeah, and it's just the whole cycle is there, and then they give you the new one. It's crazy. It's the fourth straight year, man. That shit crazy. X, Xbox gamers really love baseball. Hey, yo, let me tell you the story. Oh, Sean God. called me now. <laughs> Sean called me one like, debt. How you been on Twitter, debt? I was like, no, nah, Sean. Bro, MLB the show was on Game Pass. I was like, get out of here, Sean. No, it ain't debt. It's on Game Pass. That what? So yeah, that story and the ABK story is is exactly the same. Like the only difference is I was I was driving on the ABK story. Yeah, but that home. <laughs> Time maker man to five. Notice how nobody's hyping up Halo season two, unlike the Last of Us show. <laughs> well, Notice how nobody's evil. hyping up. Nobody's hyping it up. That's true, but nobody's talking shit about it either. Um. Yeah. Because hey, this first season, everybody was talking shit about it, even me. Yeah. This one, everybody's like, "Yo." <laughs> so, yeah, man. Um, 
So, uh, yeah, guys, like we said, gaming is changing. I don't know if you guys have anything else about it. But as a video game player, um, I want gaming to stick around. I don't want it to go anywhere. So whatever they need to do right now, and I'm not just talking about Xbox. I'm talking about the industry in general. Do what they have to do. I, I understand things are different. Things are changing. So, you know, I just like to play video games, bro. I'm enjoying Banisters, man. Really enjoying it. Bro, I'm, I'm playing that new. I'm still playing that new Nikuni Brock. I Man, you like RB? You be playing the same shit no, for a year. Bro, I defeated the Damn last straight. boss. I de- defeated the last boss, yeah, which I told you was the last boss. Then it continues after that. It's like a fucking John Marston story. Like, what the? <laughs> f- I'm not like 40 hours in, bro. I'm like, come on, man. I want to start some uh, big IP, like big IPs. It's a right. good game, but I'm like, shit, man. Let me just. Uh... No, Nikuni. I know yeah, why sure. I know why the people cut for that game though. It, it's a good game though. Is it? Yeah. Okay. You won't like it. Uh yeah, right, man. So y'all got anything else before we move on? I guess not. No. Let's carry on, bro. Like let's carry on. Let's uh, carry on, player. So let me uh real quick topic before we get to POS of the week. Um, let me pull it up here. Because I believe I had it bookmark. Maybe I did. I don't know if I did. I always think I got shit bookmarked, but <laughs> it never be bookmarked, Sean. You forget sometimes. It happens. I do forget. Um, I, I, I don't have a bookmark, but I found it real quick. So let me right now the timestamp and share my screen. Yeah. Always got to do the timestamps. So let me share my screen right quick because Michael Pactor said something um, I found interesting. Like I said, it's not going to be a long time because we pretty much just talked about it. But he said challenges. Um, so I'm sorry. Analyst Michael Pactor challenges the perception of Microsoft losing to Sony in the console war. He said it's about winning the gaming business, not the console market. Now, of course, hmm. the first person says some. Um, J Dub. Oh shit. They this motherfuckers don't stop yeah. tweeting, man. They don't stop tweeting. They tweet all day, every day. They don't stop. Every time somebody says something positive about Xbox, here they go. Here mm. they go. <laughs> so when he says something that y'all like, y'all love him. But when he says something y'all don't like, did you say this before? <laughs> did you say this before? Look at this, man. So This doesn't have to be a big topic, like I said, because we've been talking about it pretty much. He said Xbox is in the is trying to win business. Do you understand that they don't give a shit about console war? They don't care about Dirk Griggity or none of them other pieces of shit with their console war going back and forth. They don't care that Tim Dog lost his mind and say fuck all Xbox people. You think they really care? They're trying to win business. And I got to be honest, y'all, we don't like certain things. A lot of us don't like what's going on. But I will say this. If you look at what's happening, Xbox owns Activision Blizzard, Bethesda, and over 17, 18 more studios after that. Nobody can compete with that, except for, I guess, Tencent. But but that's ridiculous. huh? Don't forget King. Right. I'm saying King. So this is crazy to me that people think because Xbox put some games on there over there, the PlayStation, that Xbox is dead. No, you can say the console war is dead if they put their whole, everything over there. Yeah, you can say console war is dead, but Xbox itself, how can they be dead when they own the biggest publisher in the world? How can they be dead where they are developing Elder Scrolls Six? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? How 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 can they be dead with with that shit that's going on, man? I mean, they own Call of Duty. <laughs> but I'm saying, how can they be dead when they own Call of Duty and Candy Crush, Dad? I don't know. I don't know, man. It just it, it just makes no sense to me. Uh, like live supremacy, say- eighty plus games in development, eighty plus games in development. So how can they be dead? Like I said, if you want to say console wars dead, okay. 
what else can we say but to say Xbox yeah the funeral like the funeral was two weeks ago yeah it's over come on man <laughs> chill out <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I mean Michael Pactor tends to say a lot of things he gets some right some wrong but he's in mm-hmm. the business he's he, that's what he does professionally he pretty much said exactly what's going to happen when it came to the ABK deal like down yeah. to the to the dot he was like correct but you know how the community most of our position are, is when it comes to this Xbox sharing games and things like that. I don't like it, but at the same time, he's right though. He's like, he's not. I don't think Microsoft or Xbox isn't even worried about the consoles. They're what they're gonna do is yes, you're winning in the console space, but they're gonna surround Sony all around with every single type of business and technology around the consoles. And once Sony is basically has no air, they lost they lost the con not not the console, the gaming business. Mm. And eventually they will have to bend the knee and do exactly what Microsoft or Xbox is doing. Right. I don't know how long this is gonna take it. I don't know if I'm gonna like the, the how the business is gonna go, but right. if this is what Satya said, if this is about competition, to us competition is head to head consoles, our exclusives versus their con- exclusives. This is Satya. Right. This is a guy who manages trillion dollars, right? Mm-hmm. And I, I, I can't manage the amount of money he manages, right? right? So he's not thinking like that. He's thinking about what's what's in the gaming industry, everything, every every cell phone, every computer, mm-hmm. every smartwatch, everything that has a little game in it. They want a piece of that pie. Mm-hmm. And that's their strategy. We either we like it or not. I think Microsoft is going to succeed at the end, and all this third place, third place bullshit is going to turn into maybe Microsoft up top, second Tencent, and third place will be Sony. It's possible. See, that's their strategy, uh, Joy. And you just and you're absolutely right, bro. Like they have so much stuff, not just gaming. They realized years ago that consoles isn't growing. We saw that statistic. Uh, was it last week? that the console number sales has been the same pretty much since the PS2 original Xbox generation. They've been the same. Yeah. They've been the same, like 161 to 70, 80 million, like give or take 10 million here, 10 million there. They're not growing, but everybody has a phone in their hand. So Xbox now is part of the mobile gaming space. They are part of that now. PlayStation is not. Back to what Chio Walker said two, three months ago. To buy software for a PlayStation, you must have a PS5. Unless they start putting their shit elsewhere. Call me, yeah. Like, like what I say? Chia Walker. Oh, my bad, yeah. I'm sorry, it was Carl <laughs> Weaver that said that. <laughs> I, like, I just saw his, his uh, name, <laughs> name pop up because the Super Chat. So it was like, <clears throat> excuse me, unless they start putting shit elsewhere. Are they going to put their stuff elsewhere? We know they're going to put their stuff on PC. Their their CFO and COO said it last week. So that's 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 it. So I think Xbox is in a great position. That's what I. I and again, everybody in the chat I think knows they've seen my tw- uh, my tweets about it. I don't like. It. I really don't mm-hmm. like it. However, if you think about it, like if you have a game just sitting there not doing absolutely nothing. Like nothing at all. Example, high, um, Sunset Overdrive. Right. Realistically, who is going after an Xbox or anything to buy that game right now? Nobody. So why not just give it somewhere else? Same thing as Sony. You got Days Gone that is absolutely doing nothing. Mm. Right now. Or like the order. And you got something like that. Or the order 1886 <laughs> or uncharted one two and three god of war one two and three all these games there's a lot of games right now that are just sitting there doing nothing and your economy is getting every day more expensive and you're not getting revenue out of nothing right now i get it if you have something sitting there might as well give that to another to another fan base and see if you get a couple of bucks out of it i don't like that strategy again but Dude, if we kind of makes sense though, if we if we keep if we want to have a console in our homes until 2035, maybe 40, to keep having that type of experience, uh, I guess we all will have to take that as a compromise, I guess. But things are changing. I I I have to live with it, even though I don't like it. We I gotta live with it. 
But Halo doesn't touch fucking PlayStation. <laughs> bro, I'm with you on that one. Halo <laughs> should never touch PlayStation, bro. Hey, uh, Time Maker Man with the five. Yo, you mentioned Xbox having Candy Crush, but keep in mind they own Bubble Witch and her. Yes, Bubble I was about too. to say that they do. <laughs> they own all that. That's um, crazy. Can, um, King has like five or six other games. That's that's. And, and let's put it this way: those games are not high budget. They're cell phone games. Right. The amount of money. They make that's why you don't see layoffs there, King. Yeah, you yeah, like, like Post brought that up. You didn't see that's any layoffs. Well oiled machine. It has right. enough people to keep producing the content. It's a cheap ass game to produce. It's on every cell phone on the planet, and it's making billions it's of dollars. And so that brilliant. company right there, you don't touch it. Yeah, you don't. And uh <laughs> that's that's true, bro. And I read the Candy Cross has 15,000 levels. No wonder this shit's never ends. No, no wonder it never ends. <laughs> Geo Walker with the fire, Dirk Riggity. Console war is for us to have fun slapping bitch ass ponies and pony bots. Yeah, it mm. should be like it that. Is. It, it is. should be like the console war is supposed to be fun, but you will see soon on POS of the week. We always have people that take it to another place. We can't just console war. We can't just go back and forth about game, and it has to go to another place, but we'll get there soon. Game Shark, remember for 11 months, the console wars were over years ago. We are now in the services and developers war, and Xbox is unmatched. But when mm. it comes to developers, probably, yeah, yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. We're, we're old school, we just we keep thinking about, yeah, 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 we're, yeah, we're old school, we care about the console. But if we got to be honest, Xbox is already beating PlayStation, it's just the one thing the vocal minority always pushes well, the console sales, the console sales, yeah. the console sales. Mm-hmm. Well, to ignore, well, the console sales aren't doing so well, like that. Graphically, just show well. That's why they're on PC day and date now with multiplayer games. All, all the yeah. stuff they said they would never go because console sales, console sales, console sales don't yep. mean anything. But that's just Absolutely. the one fly ointment that we always got to deal with. That's it. Yep. To your walker with the fight. I've been console warring since Atari versus the television versus ColecoVision. War Dude, never Lord. ends in the Master Chief voice. Damn, you was listen. I didn't start console warring until Sega versus Nintendo. You was he doing was damn one, Atari bro. versus the television. He did one, bro. He was to your walker must be older than me. <laughs> Uh, even for your service. service. <laughs> what happens when Microsoft buys Take Two and says still multi plat but their games are going in Game Pass or Square? Then say, oh boy, then Namco Bandai games go everywhere. LOL. <laughs> Listen, if <sighs> if they uh did do that, it would have to be uh multi plat They <laughs> no, I don't see them buying uh uh Take Two, but if they bought like a Scrange and stuff, keep that shit multi plat I, 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 right. I, I can't say I can't say that can't happen. I mean, what, what I just, we because we never I saw can't. Activision. Listen, <laughs> Activision Blizzard was the biggest. I think Take Two would be lower than Activision Blizzard. It's actually. lower. It's lower actually, but yeah, it's but like no, I ain't gonna say that. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, they don't need the battle by right now. Paul Marwood with the two Canadian Dirty Dirt and the boys hit the like button. Thank you, Absolutely. bro. Appreciate you, man. Shout out to Paul Morrow. Dota Knight with the two. Now it's Gaming Wars and Xbox is about to cook Sony. Talk that, Talk that shit, shit Dota Knight. Appreciate you, bro. Range G Four with the five. Hashtag June Showcase, TTS, WBG, seven people. Why R&B has a dirt selfie as his avatar? Hashtag never, <laughs> never fold. fold. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, Gamzee was supposed to be a guest tonight. I told him I, I got some shit to get off my chest tonight. You know, I, I don't want to bring him into this shit, you know what I'm saying? So um, I told him I'm going to hit him up <clears throat> and we'll reschedule, even though this was a rescheduled one, but we'll definitely get him on soon. But he with the two Canadian TTS boys, Xbox better long live Xbox. Absolutely, bro. Thank you, man. Like I said, we Absolutely. will keep it. Touch. We will get you on soon, bro. I ain't want you get you. I ain't want to get you involved with all this shit that we about to do in a few minutes, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Time maker man with the five. I heard the Chaos Lounge that the FTC was the reason for those four Microsoft games going to other console. The hmm. Chaos. I'm not mm. sure. Bro. Chaos Lounge. Mm. Not sure. Chaos could Lounge. be part. Could be part of it, but. Uh... It's What's the chaos so, lounge, George? Maybe uh, another. No, I don't know what that is. I just talking about the FTC, so I don't know what that chaos. Maybe it's lounge. just a content creator. That's just a content. Oh, you said that the FTC was the reason. Huh? I don't know. Chaos lounge. I don't know. Really I heard some that. interesting theories out there, though. Some people were saying. That's the thing, there. That's that's what it comes to. Then the people want to make up something. That this is the reason why. This, yeah. This, we don't know, bro. Yeah. Well, hundred percent. We'll, we'll know, never know. Bro. We'll never know. We really don't know. No, sir. With the two, drop the link for memberships. POS. It should be in the description. Um. It should if be. you look down and you scroll yeah, or you scroll the down, you, there's a little button that says join. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's in the description, but thanks, bro. Um, so 
Yeah, but y'all got anything else? Um, fuck this. Bonus. Michael no. Pactor. Oh, Michael Pactor stuff. You're getting back to that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a business war. And I think that's what Sartin Zella was talking about. If this is about competition, let us have competition. Because buying these publishing and gaming studios or technology, if it's play fab, AI, and all that type of shit, that's what it's about right now. And you got to get in there. Once you have it, people are u- using your shit. Just like the cloud mm-hmm. service, for example, Hell Divers 2. What are they using? They're using Microsoft tools, servers, and all that shit. This is what this is what they're talking about. This is it's becoming a, like a when it, it's coming to, when it comes to the business side of it right now. They buy up everything from the gaming uh, department, from the AI, the tool, the tools, tools, all of that shit. So everybody's using your shit. This is what you're talking about. This is this is the war they're talking about right now. Because if Google gets that shit, Amazon, Apple gets that shit. That's your competition in this space. So mm-hmm. you buy who you can, so you're ahead of the game, and people are using your shit instead of using someone else's shit. That's what you want, bro. You want people to pay you, bro. You just chilling mm-hmm. out there. You just provide the tools and let people pay you and do the, do the dirty work. Yep. <clears throat> Absolutely. Um. So okay, y'all got anything else? We'll move on. Um. Two forty. Hey, Sean, you know what time it is? What time is it, Playboy? I think you know. Piece of shit of the week. It's time for POS of the week, and I'm going to tell you guys right now. <clears throat> Let me show this. Because uh, I was on King, uh, I'm sorry, I was on Web Dave uh, show last night. I stopped by. It was a spur of the moment thing. Joy was on there, post up, showed up. So I just stopped in, you know, just to chill out, talk some games, talk some games. Um, then we had a visitor came through, and of course, he super chatted some bullshit. Then he clipped a certain part of the show. Let me play exactly what it Yobi is. with the five. If you. Sp- Yobi, <clears throat> you want you go, go yeah, ahead. Dirt. I read, you I read it. Yobi with the five. If you see any device that's colored black, make sure you think dirt. They are using his <laughs> essence. Dirt is worldwide. Hashtag <laughs> dirt. <laughs> is that's a good super chat, though. That's <laughs> a good good. Now, um, he said, "Hold on, I'm sorry." This is how Xbox fans treat black Xbox guys on Xbox podcast. This is some next level tap dancing by dirt. Ain't no way I'm allowing this behavior from anyone to anyone. Dirt should know better than to let this racial shit slide. Disgusting. I had to stop watching. Um, okay. So he's insinuating I'm a coon. He's insinuated I am a nigga that is a coon, a Uncle Tom. I'm tap dancing because the homie Yobi, who is black, cracked a joke on me. Now, I'm a guy that calls my podcast One Man Dark Man. I love being black. I love being dark skinned. I fully embrace it. The homies, I grew up, we roasting each other. We talk trash about each other. Dirt little black ass. Hey, but fuck you too, nigga. Now, I don't sometimes feel comfortable when some of the guys uh, send super chats while I'm on a white boy show. Show. I don't really like that. It makes them feel uncomfortable. But at the same time, Yobi is black. Now, I'm not a guy that has a racist panel member on my podcast saying the N word with the hard ER. People call him out. He said, yeah, I said it. I'm not the one that's liking tweets from a racist panel member when he say the N-word with the hard ER. That's not me. Three times this dude accused me of being a pedophile. He said it twice in tweets after he said, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Two weeks later, the nigga did it on a song, said it again. Nigga dirt playing Roblox with kids. He, uh, back in the day, I got receipts of all this, by the way. 
he put out a tweet said, Dur, you tap dancing for, for Tang and Alex. I ain't never talked to them guys before back then. How am I tap? What are you talking about? Every time a white guy says something he don't like, you racist. When the black guy says something he don't like, you a coon. Me and the homies, Joe, if you listen to my show, you know how we get down. Did he grow up that way? I don't know. Obviously not. Well, I grew up in Detroit. We talk shit about each other all the time. I got thick skin. I guess he don't. He a bitch. That's what he is. So this dude want to sit here, post that shit for all his punk ass as pony friends. Yeah, I'm so disappointed. Dirt is a sellout. He's an Uncle Tom. It's always the niggas, ain't it? It's always the niggas. We can't talk about video games. It's always him. And I said this was going to happen. I said, who was going to do it? It's always him. Everybody else like to keep it gaming for the most part. There's a couple of dumbasses out there. <laughs> Every time. Like I said, three times said I was a, a, a insinuate I was a, a child predator over video games because my grandson, well, I, well, I'm sorry, my daughters play Roblox and they play Paw Patrol for my grandson because he like Paw Patrol on my account. He go checking people um, 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 game attack, dirt play, Roblox. You, you, you interacting with kids, ain't you? You interacting with kids. Fucking sickening, fucking weirdo. He's a fucking weirdo. That's why I don't mind like this bitch. And everything in me, I'm here to talk about video games. When we do console war shit, we keep it gaming though. We talk about stupid shit they say in video games. He always takes it to another place. Not only did he accuse me of what I said, now I'm Uncle Tom. Because a black guy cracked a joke about me being dark-skinned. Which we've been doing for over a year now. Mm. <laughs> he don't... He, he, obviously, like, he didn't know that Yobi was black. All he saw was what he saw. Oh, he was like... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, okay. Now, remember, this guy has a panel member on his shoulders every fucking week. I have receipts of this shit. But, you know what? That's it. <sighs> Sorry. I had to get that off my chest, y'all. No, it's fine. It's good. It has to be done. I had to get that yep. off my chest. He a bitch. And with yeah, everything in me, I will... Ooh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll check him one of these days, bro. Yeah. So, making. and I hope he clipped that shit. Clip it, nigga. Clip, talk about it, nigga. Clip it for all your whole ass fanboys. Clip it. I want you to clip it. All right. I'm sorry about that. All right. Uh, it's time to move on. <laughs> uh, let me get to the second one. First off. Did you guys see this? Yeah, bro, man. This uh, icon error. Let me tell you something about icon error, bro. Just imagine us bots. Call it Xbox error. <laughs> <laughs> bro, this this icon error is run by ponies, bro. It's run by ponies, bro. And they're using Japan hits Xbox as a fucking source right now. Do you believe this shit? But Who we use there? Japan hates Xbox as the source, bro? Notable insider Japan hates Xbox shares light on Xbox parody clause with Sega. <laughs> They're using this guy, bro. Have you seen this? Have you seen this guy's tweets? He has every country in the world hates Xbox Twitter. That's Japan right. hates Xbox. China hates Xbox. Everybody hates Xbox, and this is who they use as a notable insight. Of course, they deleted it. <clears throat> they deleted it, but you know, of course, we get screenshots, and they got community noted. Checked. 
Yeah. They got checked. It said it describes as a notable insider, a user of the social network who was characterized by making unfounded hate posts towards the Xbox console and also uses as evidence an opinion without variable, verifiable sources. This is what they use. This is who they use. Notable insider, bro. Are you kidding me? They should be ashamed of them damn self. They should be ashamed of themselves. And they expect us they're going to play a pentiment if they can't read, bro. For real. <laughs> uh, this last one, man. This is the last one. Um, Where is it at? Where's it had... the snipers? Snipers, please. Don't think about it. Just snipe them. There's guys, like, uh, spamming shit on the chat. Yeah, stupid. Last one. Now, IGN did it again, guys. Once again, they, they love doing it, bro. They did it again. Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection coming to Nintendo Switch and PlayStation. Mm. And this is in I saw the trailer bro, bro. for this, guys. It's also coming to Xbox. Oh, yeah? IGN did it again. Now, this is like the third or fourth time they, they intentionally Easy. left out Xbox on upcoming games. <laughs> <laughs> Why they had Xbox so much, man? They did it again. I reckon they're doing it on purpose even more right now because they want the clicks. Straight up. I think that's what it is now. But it, it has to be. <laughs> they said Nintendo and PlayStation. Like, bro, come on now. Like, there's only two consoles out there. Yeah, it's crazy, man. So That's what they want. That's their, that's their dream. Yeah. Power your dreams. <laughs> Follow your dreams. So, yeah, IGN, as Giggity said, can eat shit. Mm. All right, guys. So, those three assholes, all of them are pieces of shit of the week. Piece of shit of the week. Yeah, man. So, uh, sorry, guys. I, like I said, I had to get that off my chest, man. Because, you know, it is what it is. JD Gamer with the two. Microsoft are buying somebody. ABK was not expected. Was unexpected. Who's next? ABK was unexpected, bro. <laughs> I don't think none of us saw that coming. I don't, know, I don't know if it's true, but apparently it was Sega before ABK. And then ABK appeared and then like they jumped to ABK. Is that true? Did we see that on the court? That, I thought I saw that. I think it was Square, I think so. Square will be hilarious. I don't care if they keep it more. Square would just be hilarious. Um, King Dave seems to think they're gonna get square, or maybe he wants them to get square. I'm not sure, but really that'd be crazy. That. Yeah, JD, one hundred percent. No sir, thank you for becoming a member. Shout Good out to, to you, bro. bro. Appreciate it. Javier Leo King was homies with a dude pretending to be Japanese and trash Asians. That POS has no right to speak on that matter. Some real shit. F him. Hey, bro. But you know, he 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 always take it away from gaming, man. If he checked me on something I said gaming related, we can go back and forth. We can talk about it. No, I mean I don't talk to him, but you know what I'm saying. He always take it to another place, bitch. Phase two K uh twenty three B K and Y with the two is no more hold the line. It's fall in line. Fall in line. <laughs> fall in line. Yeah. Uh... All I can say is there must be some logic be behind this madness. I don't. We don't see it right now, but eventually. Joey, I said this last I night. There's, it, there's a few it. things Phil said that people don't talk about enough. He said, don't think these four games mean that all content is coming because it's not. He said that. He also said um, when it makes sense. And he also said... If it doesn't hurt Xbox, porting certain games when it doesn't hurt Xbox, he said that. That's something I don't think enough people listen to. Okay, let me let me say this real quick. Whoever's spamming Sony yeah. wins. Whoever's that fucking R word, you really have nothing else to do in your freaking life, huh? Don't you have anything else to do in your life to create over a hundred accounts just to spam that dumbass word? Chris Hart tripping, can you bro. be can you be at least smart mm. and not look like a fucking wreck an issue doing it, please? <laughs> My God. 
Stupid. Least, if you, I, I want, of course, I want you to be sniped, but say something smart at least. <laughs> You're making your community look even more stupider than before. They are stupid. Gave it by choice with the two dirt guys. Dirt guys that can't be logical get personal. Dirt, yeah, dirt guys that can't be like yeah, that. That's what he does. That's what he does every time, man. Not just to me. He's done it with like you remember when Dealer said the word crackhead, and he said that's racist. He said you're being racist. The mm. word crackhead. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm telling you, that's what he does, man. DJ Brodo Doss with the five dirt. I joke around all the time on your shows, but it's all out of love. No disrespect ever. Mofo use anything to get the one up. Fuck that hope. That's that's what I'm saying, bro. I grew up, bro. I grew up like this. I grew up in the lunchroom roasting each other. I grew up on people porches. We roasting each other. That's how I grew up. I think we all grew up like way we that way. We all grew up like that, man. <laughs> it is what it is, man. <laughs> So you know that's I'm telling you guys that's that's what happens. I mean, let's put it this five. way: my best friends, I'm everybody knows me as Joey. At work, I'm fat fuck. That's my nickname at work. That's what they call you, damn. <laughs> yeah, hey, fat fuck. Yeah, what's up, man? It's it. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, bro, yeah. but, this, but but there's like three of us, and we're the fat fuck crew. We don't give a shit. It's like what we call each yes, other. We're just bro, busting our balls. It's my merch. My merch is. I asked Graphic Guy, so your Graphic Guy, make me a logo with my glasses, teeth, and the Xbox chain. Dark man. <laughs> I wanted that. That's what I wanted. That's what my merch is going to be. Because I am who I am. I love being a dark skinned black man. That's me. So you cry Joe's about me, nigga? Shit. If I knew you lie, talk about you too. That's me. <laughs> so that's the fuck, man. King Chicken Chess with the early nomination for POS of the year. That galloping hoe. Yeah, man, I can't stand him, bro. The guy who is spamming is a uh, clearly somebody who speaks Spanish. He's using a lot of Spanish names. So, so annoying, man. Rangy four to five ponies will get. Braille and audio reading version of Pentiment. They will also wear Buddy Lee jeans. <laughs> Talk oh, that shit, shit bro. <laughs> it's mm. all right, man. Uh, uh, <clears throat> all right, y'all. Let me get the timestamp ready. We can go ahead and um get to the end of the show. Let's go, baby. Where it is. Hey, Rodimus, kiss my ass. It's time for uh, Do You Give a Shit Gaming News. Now, let's get... Uh, shit, I saw that fucking pony in the, in the, in the chat. Uh, but, of course, we can see them. They come in. It's time for Do You Give a Shit Gaming News, y'all. A couple people come in, chill with us. Sean, you got to go? Or are you sticking? We good. Let's go. I'm only putting a couple of uh, links in here, y'all. So if you don't get one of these two... Don't be like, there, send me a link. No, no, no. I'm only, I put a third one in there, and that's it. So if you want to come in, chill for the gaming news, come on. Now, if you somebody will recognize you a piece of shit, kick you right on out of here. All right, so let's go ahead and get right to it. Oh, look who it is, y'all. Hey, bring your kid to work day. Hey, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your oh. kid to work day. Hey, the homie Blaze right. What's up, player? What's, up, player? What's going on with y'all? What's up, man? Thanks for joining us. We got the homie. Oh, my homie. Hector the Macho Man. What's up, bro? Oh, shit. Hector ain't talking. You POS Hector. All right, y'all. We got the homies in here. We got Ray Ray Blaze right and homie Hector. Let's go ahead and get into this game of news. Who else is that? Somebody else popped in? Mark Smith. What's up, Mark? Yeah, it's going in there. Fucking drop a job. What's up, player? So, yeah, man, all good. All good. All right, y'all, we got a full house. Probably gonna get no more in. What's up, player? Uh, JD Game, can we get one more in? Yeah, yeah we can okay. get one more That's it. This is all we getting. JD Game, the last one, y'all. Hey, what's up, JD? 
Snipers keep their heads up, man. People to mute their uh, background, like until they talk. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that the the YouTube uh, box. Hello, box hello, man. These boys going wild in the there. chat, though. They going wild in that chat. Oh, I already sent no phone book. Oh, you ain't <laughs> shit. Say you sent no phone book. <laughs> oh shit. Hey, Sasquatch. Oh, yeah. old, if you know what phone book is, he old as hell. Exactly. You know, yeah, it yeah, is. <laughs> If he would have said the you yellow pages out of broken his ass. Yellow. Yeah, what's the last time I saw one of those? I don't even remember. Years, bro. bro we had Google for years now. You know, say, Hector, what's up, dog? <laughs> All right, y'all, let's go. Let me get these couple of super chats before we get started. DJ Brodo Dogs with the two. Fat fuck Joey. That's how I'm going to refer to Joey. No, I'm not call him that. DJ Brodo Dogs. <laughs> Well, I got no problem with that, but, but, but write it right this time. It's PH and PH. All right. More respect. Simple Jack with the 10. <laughs> Something a lot of people haven't mentioned is Phil also said that as we add more studios to Xbox, we might see more multiplex. I think this was a, an FTC play more than anything. When did Phil say that, though, Simple Jack? I don't remember him saying that. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, Flush Jackson. Though. Thank you for coming. Remember, appreciate you, Flush. Interesting name, Flush Jackson. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get to the news. First story we have is physical media continues to decline, y'all. With a mere 1.56 billion earned on DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K UHD, this is down 25%. Just for an example, in 2014, physical media was 10 billion. Now it's down to 1.5 billion. Jeez, it's dying, y'all. Physical is dying. Here. That's near bankruptcy, bro. What's up, Hector? Hey, man, you at work? Yeah, I'm at work. I'm a piece of shit. I ain't working in that, bitch. I'm going to tell your I boss. I'm here to talk to you. I'm going to tell your tell boss. Tell him, Uncle Dirk. Uncle Dirk, <laughs> you talking crazy. I'm going to tell your wife about that box of porno in your garage. Keep oh, playing. Shit. Oh, shit. Man, you know, I... I got rid of those. I just stream it like everybody else. No, you don't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You still got that PS5 yeah, in the basement. You still got that PS5 in the basement. <laughs> Stop playing. Hey, he's got all digital, no man. <laughs> hey, y'all. So we mentioned this earlier, but Pentiment is running 120 frames on PS5 oh, and 60 yeah. on Xbox. I'm sure. I I know. Uh, they already said. I think Josh. Isn't that Josh Shore or Tom? Yeah, Josh yeah, Josh Shore. It's, uh, oh, it's the patch to fix it. But I'm like, man, that shit. Let the PS5 have a patch. The Xbox version should be 121st. But you know, don't know what happened. They ain't finna buy that shit. Nobody yeah, they, 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 six people was playing it. <laughs> 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 and, and everybody keeps on forget forgetting to, to remember that that was an Xbox One game. They didn't yeah, yeah, have well. the 60 <laughs> FPS like they Bro. do with the PS5. Bro, that's that, right. that, that, that game could be ran on the PS One. <laughs> that game could be ran on the right. PS One. Uh, so I also mentioned British developer Supermassive Games had a layoff of not, around ninety workers. I'm not sure how big the studio is, but ninety people, they, ninety people. Weren't they remaking? Um, what's Until the name of that done. game? Until dawn. Yeah, they're not remaking it though. They made the original. Oh. I think another studio was remaking. Oh yeah, it is coming oh, out on the PC. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, uh, I got a question. Sony is the publisher of that. That's a single player game going to PC day one. So mm. that's that's it begins. Mm. That's it, begins. <laughs> it begins the day that happens. The day it happens, I'm gonna be on Twitter running around with my shirt off, baby. Oh, Ooh wee. Yeah. Ooh wee. Every narrative, <laughs> you're gonna get hung by your own narrative. You played yourself. Give hey, every man. pony a quarter. Hey man, don't <laughs> forget they, they lost their minds with God of War and Spider Man come to PC. And his thing, I got a PC. I don't mm -hmm. even want to play those games for real. <laughs> right. I, his is long, yeah. <laughs> just, just, just I do. To, to I do track. with my Xbox controller. I'm sorry. With my Xbox controller. Yeah, I hey. do. I oh got, yeah, you would. I, I got you right here, man. My P my PC has my controller. I got you right uh, here. Artemis is saying. There Artemis, we go. Artemis is saying that until dawn is coming to Xbox. No, nah, but that was a mistake because I put it out there uh, because I saw it, but it, that was a mistake apparently. Oh, okay. Um, Starfield, I see. You. I think that was a mistake. Uh, Simple Jack with the two during the business update just casually said it. I got it, did he? Because I got to check that out. I don't remember seeing that, but I'll check it out though. Uh, Simple Jack, but, uh, but that does not surprise me though. Oh yeah, we do yeah. need Bloodborne on PC. We do need that. I know people have been asking for Bloodborne on PC since shit. Now, now, yeah, now, yeah, yeah. James, like Sony right there is sitting on the go. What was it? They made like four million sales. Imagine how much more they would Tony's get when they, put, they put together on the PC. So. Bruh, 
I think at this, hey Blaze, at this point, I think everybody realizes PC is not a platform that you can ignore anymore, bro. Exa- yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because the PC market uh, makes so much money. Outriders would be the hit it would be if it wasn't for PC. No. No, <laughs> it's PC. Especially the new guy in charge, he knows the numbers because he went to the bungee and said, "Hey, you broke bitches need to get the fuck out that bed and make me some money." Right. Game players. <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo, Harry, I think that's the exact words he said to <laughs> Hey, so now you gonna get the nasty up. asses up? <laughs> hey, so according to Nick K, I don't know, I don't know, this like a, I don't know, if Nico or or something. Now, what is it called, Sean? Nico. Nico. Switch 2 is targeting a March 2025 release to avoid mm. hardware shortages. This is what I think. I think they're trying to beat that PS2 record. That's what they're yeah. trying to do. Probably. Yep, and, I, and, I, and I'm happy with it. Yep. Oh, you say what? I'm more? happy. They need to put a DVD player with it. So. <laughs> I'm with you, Dirt. I think they're trying to do that, too. Yeah, yeah. I think they're trying to, trying to break that record. Yeah, you know. Fuck, uh, Tony, yeah, me. Arrowhead CEO confirmed that Hell Divers 2 sold around 3 million copies and reached 800,000 concurrent players. Um, I mean, on PS5. Nobody gives a fuck. Hey, hold on. I, 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 you beat me to it, Ray. Don't nobody give a fuck. Ray, you beat me to it, bro. I was just <laughs> nice one, Ray. <laughs> uh, but, um, here's, a, here's a question, though. Are mm-hmm. those from PlayStation sales or the PC sales? Because no, we guess, are, literally. Because, yeah, we, all, all because, we, are, because we know the numbers... From the Steam sales, but we don't know anything about about the PlayStation sales about Hell Divers, and because we know was, they do not play multiplayer games over there. I mean, <laughs> but, but, you, but, but you, you, you already know the Call of Duty. <laughs> you already know, know the ponies, put, though. They, they, they was bragging about about the PC, even though they said the PC platform sucks, and they used yeah, to put some PC stats. Safety game. I will put knees on that. That literally not over. That probably half a million hasn't even bought that on PS Five. I put listen. Yeah. Any pony clip that shit. Clip it. Too when, uh, be macho uh, man. Uh, I will do whatever you want, but no, it's not over five hundred thousand no, sales so. on P- PS Five. No. Go on, JD. Oh, JD, you about to say something? Oh, no, I guess not. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. Baldur's Gate Three has sold over ten million copies, and I assure you that was on PC as well. I was just saying that uh, they're gonna be looking uh, for that single player game over there too on PC. Mm-hmm. Okay. That Last of Us three, Ghost of Tsushima two. I'm a ooh I think those day and day. I think Ghost is coming this year. Uh, one part one going to PC. Mm-hmm. Hey, so I don't know if y'all saw the rumor that GTA six is gonna have a three on three basketball game mode. <laughs> Nigga, that sounds like some <laughs> old PS two hey. shit. I, I, hey, I, but I, you I, know I, what I, though. The two K make uh, the NBA game anyway, so it might be actually fired. Oh, I forgot about that. I didn't oh, think about that I'm... shit. <laughs> oh man, yeah, they call oh, the same the mechanics. City. They say yeah, one more. In... <sighs> so it's just saying if they put the same mechanics in it, it would be it'd be exactly like playing a basketball be... game anyway, wouldn't it? Listen, don't forget the basketball on San Andreas was cheeks. It was trash. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long time ago, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, even yeah. on um, GTA um, Five, they had the tennis mode. It was, it was, it was ass too. So I, I never even played that. I never nah, like which one had bowling. Was that four? Yeah, that was four. Four had bowling. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, um, I'm be real with you. I, I never, I never finished uh, GTA Five. I just kind of got, I just kind of got bored with it. Yeah, those are some long games though. Long ass game. I I don't, I don't, I don't get twisted. I, I, I would still play. What, who was it that said that uh, they don't do open world games? Because Elder Ring, that Elder Ring DLC though, I'm gonna cap that for day one. Mm. Yeah, I couldn't yeah, get into Elder Ring, man. I couldn't get into that shit, bro. Man, oh, you, you about missed, to suck as a gamer. You made hey, a check a coming for me. <laughs> what are you trying to roast you, right? <laughs> hey, all your super chats. <laughs> all your super chats. <laughs> Jay, remember with the two subscribe to Ray Ray. And Sean, 76 bots. Yeah, Jay Remember, Thank you, brother. Rocket Scientist with the two Canadian. If physical did, why Sony buy Disney DVD business? That's a good question because they did. They did buy Disney. Well, listen, about it. like Disney giving the shit up for a reason, though. Maybe Sony that's stupid. <laughs> Disney giving it up for a reason. <laughs> they is dumb. They don't have a brain. They bought Bungie for they bought Bungie for three point seven billion dollars. They are dumb. They yeah, stupid as fuck. They they wasted some money on that one, bro. Wasn't it just like the publishing rights or some other nonsense that they got from Sony? I mean Disney. Yeah, something. Yeah, I think yeah they like I guess so they hold library. They do something. everything the Xbox do four to seven years late. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bro. JD's right, but uh, they're all just behind that like, four or five years, bro. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, they are. Just like go like putting their games on PC. Xbox tried to tell y'all asses back in 2016. You'll probably be doing much better now with the <laughs> first party games. Laugh now, Carl Lighty. <laughs> Jiggy oh, yes, J with the five. Ray Ray, when your next Leprechaun in the Hood movie coming oh, out? Come on, oh, come on, man. It's gonna it's gonna be on Tubi. <laughs> <laughs> Mark 2068 Ray Ray is Calvin from Little Man Movie. Oh, bro. oh man, I, bro. I forgot about that movie, bro. I forgot about that movie. Did, did Joey claim it up? <laughs> Ray G4 with the fire. Ray Ray has daycare insurance included in his game pass subscription. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Ray took his clothes off his GI Joe. Oh, come on, oh, come, come on, on, man. Hey, <laughs> check this out. Low, check, check this out. Since I told everybody, I'm like, hey, y'all always coming for me. Give me y'all heights. Give me right. your shoes. Right. You like, yo, you, like as short as you, right? Yeah, hey, so. hey, they are. Hey, Rain talking. He my height, but he got a he's a uh, shoe size of seven. <laughs> he got a, he got a shop at uh, what is it? Uh, Baby Foot Locker. Hey, man. Uh, yeah. yeah. A friend of, me, of mine said, I "Always watch out for grown men with size seven shoes. You can't trust them, man. Said if he too small to be one." Out. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? Look at that! I swear, Porky's is the movie. Uh, Talos love that movie, bro. Uh, so the coalition has hired seven new people, man. They working over. They are cooking over there, y'all. Coalition. Mm-hmm. I think mean, I think here is five gonna be amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Ryan, you're the same height as Ray, but you gotta start roasting oh, Ryan. You, you, you gotta roast your punk ass as well. <laughs> so, um, so Warner Brothers uh said the Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League has fallen short of X. Oh, oh man, short, no, 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 let, let, no, 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 let, 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 let me, bro, let <laughs> me because oh, okay, go ahead, this, Blake. Now, this, this was one game that I was really anticipating on playing, mm-hmm. and I was about to pre order the game. But as soon as I seen that Sweet Baby Ink, the same people that that wrote Spider Man Two, because mm-hmm. you know that whole dialogue with Spider Man Two and how they basically made Peter Parker a complete freaking. Are we allowed? To, are we allowed to, allowed to cuss on this platform? Oh yeah. my God! Have you have you seen this show? <laughs> yeah. The best. No, no, no. When they made com- Peter Parker a complete bitch, that's yeah. when I knew. Like, yo, they don't know <laughs> how hard Spider Man is. Like, how much he has to go through. And he's mm-hmm. he has, he's apologizing every five goddamn seconds. <laughs> that's why he's because like, he's on Sony. I mean, yeah, I mean, no, no, even with the movies, like the movies, he didn't he's oh, not apologizing okay. every five seconds. He's, he's actually yeah, he, he, shit. he's turned into the sorry man, and at this point, like fuck, sorry yeah, to when, exist yeah, at but, some point. Yeah, but when suicide, but when Suicide Squad came in, killed the Justice League, man, the way they did Wonder Woman, Batman, and especially John Stewart Green Lantern, right? The way that they even wrote those characters was a complete joke to the characters themselves and the people that actually, that actually love these characters. Mm. It was all favorite tales on Wonder Woman, but Superman, Batman, yeah, especially the way they did they did Batman. Yeah, they completely made them a complete joke. When people who played this and they mm. didn't like it, they asked for a refund. They're like, you know what? Let's just go back to playing Batman Arkham Knight because that yeah. was the, the superior game. Like, and, yeah, dope games, man. Yeah, and everybody just stopped. Just said this game right here is not canon to, to the Arkhamverse. Whoever made this, this is not canon. This is a joke. Yeah, I'm not accepting it as a as canon at all. Like to me, that's not canon. I don't care what they say. This never happened. This is a alternative universe bullshit. That's it. It is what it is. I'm not accepting I, it. I knew it was stupid when somehow this was a sequel to Gotham Knight. It's not. Um, I mean Arkham. Excuse me. It's Arkham the Knight. Same universe, right? It's the same universe. Yeah, same universe. Yeah, yeah, this is Arkham Knight, yeah. but Gotham, Gotham Knight isn't. Gotham where Batman is already dead. Which is dumb. Well, that's that's because Gotham. That's because Gotham Knight was made by WB Montreal and not Rocksteady. Yeah, it was. Why. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And then when the leak came out that they were actually working on a different game than what they were made to make, and it was supposed to be like um, uh, a Superman uh, game. No, no, no. Yeah. It was a Batman game, but it had like Bane. No, no, no. And stuff like that. No, no. Uh, Gotham Knights was supposed to be a Damian Wayne game. Kind of in the future, that got scrapped and all that cancellation. Oh, cancellation. oh, you talking and, about? And, oh, and, oh, you, oh, you, you, you talking about Terry McGinnis, the Batman? Uh, is that what you talking about? No, no, no. Yeah, no, no. That's true. Terry McGinnis is Batman Beyond. I know that. However, the the game uh, uh, Montreal was doing was with Damien, but he was gonna be kind of like the Batman Beyond character. It was a mess. That was scrapped. All kinds of shit was scrapped, and we end up having uh, Gotham Knights. Now with Suicide Squad, I don't know what the hell what that shit was. It was gonna be originally a Superman game, 
kind of that didn't work out. It changed all over again and over again. What? That's why years, I, nine that's, years later, and then they yeah, came up with years, this yeah. nine with this dumb games as a service, fully disrespectful to the characters. I don't know. Nine years. That's a long time. Man, let me get these super sets. Justin Blue Dragon with the two. 3v3 is fun and games till John Moran show up. You got that right. Don't want to be around when show up with the with the heat. Adidas 20 zero the two he said dirt don't tell Ray Ray my height. Yeah, I met Adidas 20 zero in real life. Yeah. I told it take nine years from the last of us factions to get canceled. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> oh, that's a great point. <laughs> but no, remember how they were fighting so hard about no when they said they put it on ice or on a shelf. I remember podcasts will argue back and forth. That doesn't mean it's canceled. That just means they're just taking time away and all this. And then, like, what a month later, yeah. they said, "Yeah, it's canceled." It's official canceled. Yeah. yeah. It was and, up and, and, the, and the and the fact that they they still capping, they still making that the dumb excuse saying like, "Oh, it's a true. Oh, uh, this game didn't. Want, I mean, this these developers didn't want to become a multi plat. Uh, yeah. Didn't want to make games multi platform or multiplayer, so they couldn't do it. They wanted to stay single player. That's one of the most dumbest excuses." For a no. AAA development team, I have ever heard. I wonder what, you know what it Hiroki was. Hiroki thinks about that. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's what it was. Hiroki came in there and seen what was going on. He said, "And y'all want how much more money? Guess what this shit? Guess <laughs> all this shit? Guess <laughs> all this <laughs> shit? <laughs> Get rid of You're all probably this. right. You're probably right. He's like straight out. <laughs> How long are we doing this? How much you spend? How much you need? How much you want? No, hey. no, fuck that. <laughs> and he looked at Jim Ryan with that white T-shirt and was like, "So you've been giving them more money?" What the fuck is your name? Hey, yo, this is Hey, so apparently Mortal Kombat 1 is uh, the, like cross play is coming this week. Um, yeah, baby. Oh. I think that's dope. Yeah, Peacemaker, dope. bro. Peacemaker looks dope. Mm. Oh, yeah. Peacemaker mm. do look dope. It does. And I actually like the show. So, hey, so there's a support studio called Third Kind Games. They are the team that ported Sea of Thieves to PS5. Pieces of shit. But Boo. they also uh, collaborated. I'm sorry, collaborated with uh, the development of Forza Horizon Four. But now they're supporting mm. Fable, so they're getting more help mm. on Fable. Uh, oh shit, Joey! Oh, they, oh, they're supporting Fable. Oh, Hello, shit. Joey. Uh, Wait a uh, <laughs> Joey, Joey, Joey. Oh, look, look, look. Oh, I'm, gonna do, like, I'm gonna do like Sean. Why you do that? Let's cross that Keep bridge. No. Let's cross that bridge no. once we get there, right? But Joey's I'll like this. I, this is this I is Joey right now. Sucks. Sucks. You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Hold on. How is that suspicious? They didn't port uh, Forza Horizon 4? No, you didn't. But but Joy, yeah, like, they ported Sea of Thieves or something ain't right. Joy don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope, that, I hope the water Joy, sucks. They're just, helping. they're just helping with development, Joy. I hope their water mm. sucks in the game. I hope they're all glitchy. I hope they don't even get the cracking. I hope it's just a just like one oh. tentative. <laughs> Hey man, piece. don't. Hey man, it's, it's gonna be a cube. Piece. It's gonna be a cube in the middle of the water. It's <laughs> <laughs> Hey y'all, so um, Skull and Bones, uh, it, uh, it it already has less than one million players, in, including <laughs> three trial players. <laughs> oh my god! Movies <laughs> off. <laughs> Hey yo, what, what, hey, hey yo, no, nah, hold on. <laughs> I'm a defense color bones on this bitch. I've been playing, I've been playing the hell out of that game. I'm loving it. Oh, that's you, cool. Dog, dog, man. Man. Come on now. I guess it's you, you and you, like you and a few other people are the only people I'll, playing. Me and the ten thing. people yeah, out you're the test. Bro, you're the mm, only Goonie yeah, playing that shit. Nobody yeah. else is playing that you're shit. You're the hey, test. You're the test. Hey, right, right. Like, right, right. Make sure you get your check, bro. <laughs> hey, you know, you, you check always clear. Check always because they go they better clear because they making you play that game and say that too. Boy, Ubisoft got you in the back pocket. Hey, <laughs> better. Uh, hey. I'm uh, just saying it's a good ass game. I'm gonna put it out there. Man. Yeah, no, nah, I'll try one of right now. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll try it. Hey, it's in Ubisoft Plus. If you got Ubisoft Plus, let's go Ubisoft play Black Flag, bro. Play Black Flag. That's better. Like, I'm not playing no frag. <laughs> Flag, my, <laughs> hey, be careful, y'all. Be, my chapters, be careful. Don't say that. Flag, flag. flag. What did I say? What did I say? We said frag. Like, like, like a frag. Oh, man. shit. My like back flag. My yeah. Joey, don't look, mate, don't look up with our chapters now. Yeah, lose my chapters, back. Joey. Come on now. <laughs> um, all right. So, Power World number updates. Power World is 25 million total players. 10 million is on Xbox, y'all. 15 is on, uh, 15 sold on Steam. So, 10 million hey. players on Xbox. Do you guys remember where they said only 100,000 was playing on Xbox? 
Hey, wait, wait, man. I thought Xbox players don't play games. That's what they said. Mm -hmm. That's what they said. Or, or don't buy games either. That's what yeah, they that's said. What yeah. Yeah. And the numbers so, 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 declared so, so, that was a lie. Yeah. Like, come on. Like, we 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 saw the numbers. Uh, mm. Forza got thirty-seven million. Halo Infinite, a game, but which which I did play. It was bad at launch, but I'm I stuck stuck with it these past couple of years. Twenty mm. million players. That's not to mention all the microtransactions that they're getting from that game. They was making some some money off of that game. It wasn't just uh they just dumped the game and they didn't update it when they did do the constant updates the game was more fun so mm -hmm. they're like mm -hmm. people saying that halo Infinite was not fun at all they man, obviously halo didn't give it a chance bro. man I, guess, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know one i don't know one bot that is saying that to be honest it's just a point yeah. saying that dumb shit. Yeah, it's just fun. Yeah, we, man, halo we were fire. all playing that day one and we still playing it once yeah this is still right. fire multiplayer hey, so, was um, cheap though we said it was cheap at launch, it was it was not good. So I was like, the multiplayer. Hey. I disagree with yeah. you. Where are you playing? Uh, PC. No, I, on Xbox. The shit was all right at first, but I ain't gonna lie, it was. You were yeah. playing on like, Xbox I, One. Tell the truth. You POS. You were playing on Xbox One. Tell the truth. Look, man, they, they, they could have put more maps in there too. Dude. No, no, I, okay, okay. I agree with the I, maps, but I the gameplay was fired. Yeah, the game. But I'm just saying, it was just. The it was just content, repetitive. The content was that's lagging. all it was. Yeah, because it needed but some more content, and like modes, and maps. Other than that, everything else was good, though. Yeah, everything. Yeah. All right, y'all. So, eighteen uh, percent. A report finds that eighteen percent of U.S. Switch owners also have an Xbox Series X. I don't know what what the hell that was for. What they even did that report for? That's just stupid. Don't nobody give a fuck. <laughs> um. Grounded has 20 million players, while Sea of Thieves has 35 million players. And something tell me after they ported these games to PlayStation 5, they're going to have the same amount of players. Ponies don't play shit like that. <laughs> not, yeah, now unless it's Call of Duty. <laughs> that's the only multiplayer game Ponies play is Call of Duty, bro. And that's War, why they I'm really play Duty. Warzone. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's, all that play, that's it, man. Um, So Xbox... uh. It's hiring Tanya Watson, who is the co-founder and CEO of Squanch Games, you know, the, the people that made High on Life. Oh, fun game. So she's yeah. being hired, hired by Xbox, and she joined yeah. Xbox Game Studio. She's the CEO of Squanch Games, bro. Nice. Oh, don't be, wait, don't be surprised if they own Squanch Games. That's what it right, sounds like right. to me. Hey, listen, High on Life was fire, bro. I'm sorry. That yeah, it was, was a pretty good game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High Life was a was a pretty funny game. Uh -huh. It was funny, funny as hell. It was funny as hell. Hey, Joe, you got a kid. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let me see. Phil Spencer. Said, so Phil Spencer says. Room, Phil Spencer <laughs> says that their intent is for all Xbox games, including Call of Duty, to be available on Game Pass day one. So, uh, we'll see what's happening. I'm I, I'm expecting it to be on the, on Game Pass day one. I think that's a game changer if they really promote it properly. It's yeah, that's game really oh yeah, we're, we're as big as a uh, Call of Duty is, and how big it's oh, gotten man. in the past ten years. Yeah, definitely, the promotion is is going to be. They got to be yeah. Big. They got to let. They got to let people know it's on Game Pass. You can play Call of Duty for fifteen dollars a month or whatever it is. Yeah, I think I think they said it's probably coming in June or July. It's called a uh, Gulf War. I think it's called yeah, Call of Duty Gulf War. So, yeah. Nah, it ain't coming that, that early. That, I think that's What's a code name holiday? though. Yeah, it's like you was like October. They'll announce it in June. Yeah, they might announce it in June. Yeah, that hey. game is going to be the prime example to see how much they really care about the Call of Duty as a franchise. Because I need to see them really push that advertising. Hey, you know what, RB? Yeah. I'm glad you said that because in the 360 generation, you know how I always watch OE3s. They started off several E3s with Call of Duty, bro. Oh. During the 360 generation, they treated that bitch like it was an exclusive. Now hey. they own it. I, I I expect him to do the same thing. Treat that bitch like it's an exclusive. You think it's gonna have his own show? Or it's gonna be at the showcase. Mm, that's a good question. Yeah, hmm. sure. They haven't showed Call of Duty at a E three on E three stage in years, bro. Well, well I think one year they had his own showcase. PlayStation used to do it when they had their showcase, but remember they stopped their showcase. Yeah, hmm. that's a, we'll that's a good question. Month. We'll see it this summer. Definitely. Yeah, that's well, good they lose their market, right? so that. I think this year, I think this year Xbox has the marketing rights. Right, right. I right think last true. year was the last one for PlayStation. That I was think. the last one because you saw ponies already gave up about that narrative a long time ago. Yeah. So, good. Good. so all right. Um, let's see. It's only we we so we talked about that about my man 
checking Bungie. We talked about that, saying y'all better get y'all shit together. <laughs> Sifu sold over 3 million copies. It's a pretty good game. That game wasn't bad. Yeah, the difficult though. Shit is oh, difficult. Like yeah, yeah. Play. Yeah, yeah, bro. I'm, it was thirteen dollars on Xbox. I got it for two. Oh, Can't oh, get that. for two. Oh yeah. What? What? Wasn't that a PlayStation game that came over to the Xbox? It was a PlayStation exclusive for a while. Yeah, but it's not first party. But yeah, it was. It was it's a pretty good game. Time. Man. It's, yeah, it's not it was bad. on sale for thirteen dollars. I don't know. I'm if it's still, still waiting for Kena, bro. For real. Like, I'm there. didn't that? I what happened that to that game? game? I thought that game. I got no Released on on Xbox. I thought. Yeah. Let me get these super chat. Simple Jack with the fire. To be honest, I had more fun in Suicide Squad than Spider Man Two. Story was way better. Don't want to spoil it, but the ending gives you important info on the Justice League. Mm. Interesting. I'm gonna play it, bro, because I actually enjoy Gotham Knights. I'm not saying it was great, but I liked it enough. Shadow Fox with the five. <laughs> Do y'all think see if these went multi plat to compete with Skull of Bones? I brought mm. that up not too long ago. I said to have a pirate game to compete with Skull of Bones on PlayStation. But Xbox didn't know Skull of Bones is gonna flop absolutely, like that. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. They, they competing. Yep. But they know that shit was gonna flop like that. Uh <laughs> Skull of Bones gonna flop. New York Giant man with the 20. Yo, what it do, fellas? Dirt, what I up? had your back today. King Thrash was trying to play the group activities on joking your skin, joking on your skin, trying to make it look like our group is racist and he wouldn't take that from his people. Yeah, watch POS of the week, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> go back to watch POS of the week. Yeah, I, I had a conversation with, with uh, King Thrash a couple of months ago, and the, he was just lying to me dead in my face about piracy, PC gaming. I don't know if y'all saw the clip where he said he was he was going to snatch the chains for people who pirate games. Just man, don't he was, gonna, he was, he was gonna what the what? That that don't ever talk to him, man. You man, you hey, but you lose brain cell. Yeah, I figured out. Can't, <laughs> he can't even do basic math, and someone's yeah. gonna believe you'll this lose guy. brain cells, bro. I figured that out. <laughs> About last is he the one who can't figure out the difference between a, a solid and a, and, a, and, a, and a gas? Like, yeah, 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 uh, Sir X Man with the two Xbox doesn't talk about it, but there's 120 million users on what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Um, are you, you, you talk about on the, 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 the Xbox, like, Xbox Live accounts? Oh, okay. Xbox, uh, yeah. Across the board. Oh yeah, that's also, that's also one thing that the Sony CEO said the console sales don't matter, it's more about the user. The user accounts mm -hmm. that mainly matter because that's yeah. where the money is. That's that's what's going on nowadays, bro. Um, so that's what it is. So last thing, uh, there's a couple things I want to talk about. Uh, the PS5 Pro. Let me. I'm asking to do a timestamp on this. The PS5. Real PS5 you mean the real PS5, right? <laughs> the real. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's talk about this right quick, fellas. The PS5 Pro is a rumor uh, that is supposed to drop this year. But let me ask you guys a question because. <laughs> I think the PS5 Pro is useless and unnecessary this generation. Last generation, the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X, it made sense because we can get 4K gaming, right? We mm -hmm. already have 4K gaming with the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. So mm -hmm. are they going to have a $600 console just to get 60 FPS in every game? Because what else is it going to bring to the table? Because we already got 60. I, I, I feel like, I feel, Dirt, I feel like it has to go 120. Yeah. Mm, yeah, 120. Like, why? Why even buy oh, another oh, console oh, right now? I get it, but most like... of the Devin, I agree with that. Maybe it's frame rates, but at the same time, how many people has a TV? I'm talking about a man. <laughs> right. Buying... Who has a 120 per second TV? Nobody. No. Uh, Not... well, well, I mean, like very few, bro. It it just doesn't make sense to me. I think they're. I don't know what their strategy is because, like, a lot of people say with the PS4 Pro, it was about their VR. You know, they wanted their VR to be better. Um, yeah, but, but VR is going to PC. Yeah, it's yeah going but, to PC. But, but yeah, yeah. But see, that's my point. This time we hear the VR is going to PC. So, what is the purpose for the PS5 Pro? The I don't understand it. This last generation, I understood it. This generation, I don't. I mean, my the opinion is the demographic that will fit. Yeah. I the mean, only. My... It might be able to fit on a TV like, uh, like, like this. desk. <laughs> yeah, let's put it this way last generation we got the pro and the one x right those mm -hmm. were pushing 4k technology do we need mm -hmm. imagine 8K for the real? ps5 pro. is that technology actually needed like 8K have you seen no. ak a i've seen ak uh uh whatever content AK, like no. and i'm like it looks sharper but do i need it do we, any of us need that no no yeah. no, no frame is, rates maybe but does it cost more frame rates? That shit will be six hundred dollars, maybe because the PS Five is still five hundred. More than I mean, that. Look at the VR. VR more is almost six hundred bucks. 
It's gonna be like six nine. more than that. You can be more than six hundred. Six nine. Yeah. If, if, they're yeah, going, if they're going to eight, because they sound the pong for the concert, like, if they're going, going crazy, like like say like eight k, eight k thirty, like That's then sick. you have to go and buy an eight k TV, right? And they don't yeah, even right. I'm good, but it, it, well, it, here's here's my thing about that one. Mm-hmm. Why sell it? If they don't really have no first party games announced None. for this year, none. That's a great point, bro. They they the, roast the, the Xbox for not having uh first party games when they dropped the Xbox Series X and S. They roasted the Xbox. Is, the they theory is the they don't have three years. The theory is that they want the best play. The Sorry. I mean, the theory is that they want the uh, PS5 GTA. to be the best place to play GTA. GTA. And if GTA is going to be the beast they say it's going to be, maybe just for that game is worth it. But is it really worth it, though? The only only reason that they will bring out a pro if they're trying to extend a generation like three to four years. So that would be the only wet reason I see to bring one out. But what are they going to do? Like, what are they going to improve? But it's well, only only thing they could improve would be frame rates. Mm. Um, uh, because we can, if developers wanted to right now. Uh, they can they have the Xbox they, they come can out right the developer, the now. The developer, the, the, thing the, developer. the next console and its specs. Mm-hmm. All, all I'm saying is that these, these developers can barely do. I forgot thing. what I had to say. <laughs> <laughs> Man, forget all that. What do we need a PS5 Pro for? They haven't used the first one. No, but, no, but he, 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 hey, yo, know what? That's my point, R&B. The Xbox Series X, S, and the PS5, we we have not gotten all the power out of these consoles, bro. Nah, well, you, you, heard, you, heard, you heard what they said. The PS5 is in the uh, latest stages of its uh, They, they did there. say that. They did say that. I'm like, damn, three and a half years? That's the, that's the yeah. later stages? That's because they use them cheap-ass chips. That's why. The Xbox, <laughs> I would say the game that really pushes that system of as, as, as of now is going to be mm-hmm. Hellblade 2. For PS5, I, I have no idea what game is going to really push that game to its limits because I ain't Final Fantasy 16. Yeah, maybe Wolverine. Uh, maybe uh, Wolverine. No, yeah. I already know what, what they're gonna say because they're gonna say, "Oh, this the PS5 Pro is, is going to be the best thing in gaming." Those specs that was rumored, my PC can do the exact same thing, so it's not mm. nothing. New. Exactly. I don't know exactly. what we are hyping that PS5, but like it's the best thing to ever happen in gaming, or supposedly. And and the funny part is still an AMD machine, so you're not gonna get all this DLSS bullshit. You're still gonna get super resolution. Point two or mm-hmm. or point three I, at, at most. You know what? So, but they, but oh, Joe, hold up. you guys don't see the cycle happening again. They have no games to talk about, and I jump on hardware again. They don't see the cycle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, nice. that's what Sony are. They're a hardware company, primarily, are they? Yeah, they got shit you know? to talk about. Yeah, but listen, I like what JD Gamer said. He said, "How about the PS5 Pro comes out this year? Xbox announces the next generation next year." That's gonna make yeah, it. That's what I think. Do you guys yeah. remember when Xbox announced Project Scorpio in 2016, which of course is the Xbox One X, <clears throat> the PS4, uh, like the PS4 Pro? Didn't nobody give a shit about the PS4 Pro because they knew the Xbox One X is gonna be more powerful. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, bro. So yeah, the PS4. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, the PS4 well, the... Pro actually looked like a joke when it came out because we saw it. Everybody that was on the presentation, I remember IGN even talking shit about it. It's like. The jump wasn't that massive. Was it even it worth it? And then when they saw the X, 4K, real 4K <coughs> game, six mm-hmm. teraflops, the word teraflops. Everybody like, yo, yeah. that's six. When it came from 1.2 to six, yeah. that was a huge jump and all that shit. Bro, the, the X, PS4 man. Pro, I don't know. I really don't know. FSR, Joy, three, Xbox. great. Nobody has an AK TV. I'm not going to buy an AK TV Fuck just no. to watch something in 4K that is Perfectly fine in 4K. In 4K, right? Developers I can't even the the, the 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 fucking textures in 4K is expensive as fuck. You're gonna do a game in 8K resolution or 8K no, textures? No, no. no way. In doubling hell. the budget. Yeah. Nobody's doing that. Don't show. even know what 8K even means. Like, what does right, that even bro, mean? No way in hell. hell. You gotta get that's... better ray tracing. Good for you. Fuck it. I don't know. I, that's what I'm saying, Joey. It's like they can barely do the shit that they're trying to do right now, which is 4K Half tracing. They maybe. Can I work. Do that. Hey, I work for a company right now, right? And still, 8K is not our next jump. 10K is our next jump. Mm. They don't yeah. even. They, they were skipping Dude, 8K. 10K, 10K, you can't we even really see that. That's shit. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. 10K is our good. next jump. And they I work for a huge company, not a small company, a huge company. Yeah. So, yeah. Damn. What is like, 10K look like? 
It, it, looks, like, it looks like 4K. That's what it looks like. Oh, God. Go ahead, it Mark. Like 4K. It, say, Mark. it just costs more money. What the fuck are we doing here? Mark, what'd you say? There's like 1% of the people if that play games is going to be leaning towards getting all of that technology right where they wanted to play their games. So the rest of the people don't give a shit. They got like, no, I'm sitting here with two 1080 Absolutely. monitors. I got a 4K television in the living room for the kids and the missus. And that's it, man. I'm not, I'm not going out buying more. To, you know, I got my bits and that's it. Hey, Mark, my father, like I said, he plays, um, he plays MLB the show. Oh, shit. What's that? That was the homie Hector working. Um, my father plays Madden and MLB the show, and he uh he's fine with his 720p TV. <laughs> he's fine with it, man. So <laughs> hey, let me get the super chat so we can get out of here, guys. Web Dave, the homie Web Dave with the two. He said WBG Mega Panel. Dirt, they took our exclusives. <laughs> they did. It's all good. We'll be all right. <laughs> the homie oh, yeah. post up with the five. When that six terafly rumor started, they thought the X would be seven hundred dollars. Hey, you know, post like you know, I remember they were saying seven hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars. I remember all of that, bro. Hey, um, definitely, good. but the Xbox One X was such a great console. But I will admit, we only had it for three years, and we never got to see that amazing power. Now, I would say Gears Four, Gears Five, saw, no Gears, Gears Five. Okay, I take that back. Gears Five was man, it was incredible, bro. It was it was incredible. Um, right but and Red Dead Redemption too, yeah. Right, Dirk. Imagine if how different that generation would have been if they launched with the Xbox One X and the Xbox One S, and that was it, instead of the fat Xbox One. Yeah, that would and with no connect, that would have been it would have been much much different generation, bro. Controversial opinion here. I actually like the connect because I actually like playing uh, uh, Dance Central Three on. No, no, no. I listen, Blaze. I love the connect. I just hated how they made that to focus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the problem. They made it the I mean, focus. I mean, the main I, 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 get the, I get the focus. The focus was get your ass up and start moving and stop sitting down all day eating chips. That yeah, was the main I mean, focus. I, I get that, but do it like the week did. Honestly, all they had to do was change that whole generation was make X connect as a option. As an option, a yeah. that's all they had to do. Just like Nintendo made the the the, the Wii step, whatever it's called, the Wii step an option, and it's so great. So I agree with that. Yeah. But that's about it, guys. It is time for us to get out of here. Time for us to go. Uh, thank you guys for stopping by. We had the homie JD Gamer, Mark Smith, my homie Hector, the Macho Man, Blaze Wright, mm -hmm. Ray Ray stopping by. Thank you guys for tuning in. I actually like this little thing we're doing uh, for the last 30 minutes of the show. Thank you guys for stopping by. I always appreciate you guys. But the panel, R&B, what you got going on, my brother? I am going to debate whether or not I feel like finishing Red Dead Redemption 2. Because I told you. Like, <laughs> How far I came back, that game I came back to it after like four or five years and not touching it. Uh, I, hmm. I bought it on sale. I don't know. This game is long as hell, man. I don't know. Just like shit. Cyberpunk is long too, right? Cyberpunk is long, but I liked it more. Okay. And there's like been fast playing travel and for two years. He still have to stop. He said we playing Cyberpunk for two years. Three years. Oh, I played it the first time because it was dope. Then they had the 2.0 update where I could take Pan Am on a date and come on back to the house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then he had the Phantom, Phantom Liberty. So what are we doing here? Right. RB, can I ask you a question? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> have, you, have, you, have you actually finished the game yet? Or is, is it your first playthrough of your whole did spoilers and shit? Oh, which game? Uh, uh, Red Dead. This is my first playthrough. Mm. Oh, oh, great game that. though. It's a great game. Though. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah, it's, it's great. wrong, but it's too damn long. It is a long game. Yeah, it is long. Everybody, everybody said the I same thing about, about uh, Elder Ring, but Elder Ring won game of the year and beat God of War Ragnarok. I need yeah. to go back and finish Elder Ring too. I need to just run. Oh, I need to run through the whole game with somebody that knows what they're doing because I'm lost as shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, hey, hey, yo, Devin, what's going on with you, player? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm I'm doing the same stuff, Dirt Man. I'm gonna be playing uh TCM. Oh shit! Going back to that. Huh? Uh, Dead by Daylight Ooh. and uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, he really yeah. loves those games. You gotta be on games. that the uh, um, uh, killers, killer clowns from outer space. Yeah, man. He's gonna be I'm on that too. Gonna be on that too. That too. Uh, Joey, what you got going on, my man? Uh, I'm gonna play a few levels of Gears Tactics. I I don't know why it took me this, this long to play it. Really good game, and I'm gonna start playing Dead Island. Oh, it is on Game Pass. Why the fuck not? Straight up, straight yeah, up, yeah. We should definitely start playing that. Last but not least, my homeboy Sean. What's up with you, bro? 
Oh shit! He bailed like oh, twenty are. minutes ago. Oh, he's in the chat. Oh, yeah. he, he, he in the chat with. Uh, oh yeah, I'm here. I, I just, I just, I just want to make, make this little comment. Like yeah. everyone's saying, oh Xbox is lo- is losing, is giving away all the exclusive. Did y'all forget that Xbox is giving away? Oh, it's releasing ten games this year. We already got six mm-hmm. announced. We got four more coming up this year. So everybody's saying the Xbox brand brand is dying. Just shut that crap up, okay? Fact. Xbox is Xbox is still here. You got all these uh, Twitter users saying like, "Oh, just go ahead and say your Xbox." Tell them to suck a dick. Oh shit! Whoa, they whoa, whoa, the chat <laughs> plays. <laughs> <laughs> my chest. Is... <laughs> my chest. Is... <laughs> my chest. Is... <laughs> bye, bye, chapters. <laughs> oh man, for two minutes before. <laughs> and we got and we got Reggie trying to get in, but we're going to get ten at a time. Reggie, sorry, bro. Um, so that's it, man. We out of here. Thank you, everybody, for rocking out with us. We will see you guys this week. Um, that's it, man. Nice one, boys. Peace out, everybody. Talk to y'all last. Peace and love. Peace and love. love. Talk to y'all last later, (laughs) y'all. Sean, 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 what the fuck? There goes Sean, Sean back, y'all. Where you been? Where you been? Yeah.